We're happy to say we are up to 13 subscribers now. Woohoo! Right, so would somebody like to kind of take us up to where we were before? You guys awake? You're in Takai? Fort Takai? What are you doing? Sorry, I'm finishing off my dinner. <laughs> trying to get the stream open. I think, I think I'll take a break from recaps for the Thursday, for Wednesdays. We, I did actually make notes. Let me consult uh, them. Well, then the start was we were in a lovely inn. Uh, and we got to know each other, which was nice. Made some new acquaintances. Uh, most of us were in town for a fish festival. And... Uh, we were approached by the barman asking if we wanted to do some work. The work was going into the spooky, spooky cellar, getting attacked by vicious things, rescuing the alcohol, and then all having a nice glass of wine and delicious top quality bread to celebrate. I don't know what more you could ask for. Um, <laughs> I lost money betting that people couldn't hit coconuts. More for me. Uh, I got some tea. Someone bought a fish. Did we buy a fish? I got a fish. We went fish. <laughs> we went <Blow> fish. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, God, the, the dangerous to cook fish that we have to boil for an hour to depoison it. Yeah. Excellent. I'm sure you'll be in charge of that and you do an absolutely spiffing job. Of course. Um, did we do anything after coconuts? I actually. Hey. Struggling to remember. You're kind of skimming over our favourite NPC. Yeah, you're skipping oh, oh, over Estagella. Shop lady. Yeah, the shop which she has we a name. people from her. The most amazing personality that's ever existed. Cool. And then after that, we sort of headed out, and that was about it after the mini games. Quick. Also, we know where her shop is, so we can send her postcards. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Can you remember? Can you remember what her shop is called? Yep. Yes. Cloud yes. Seas. Down. It's called the Cloud Seas. That's the one. Brilliant name. <laughs> and we have rooms for the next couple of nights, I presume slash hope, at the Scaly Inn from our work with you, Innkeeper. Mm -hmm. So he gave you rooms for the night, for what you'd done, and he paid you quite well. So if need be, you could always pay... You know, True. almost pay the money back in order to uh, friends and family discount. I'm sure something yeah, that could I definitely mean, be discussed. I thought we were, we're, we're now <laughs> joint shareholders in the, the pub. Yeah, right. I think you just handed over the lease. That's our retirement plan. <laughs> we're going to come back here after a lovely life of adventuring. <laughs> definitely not die on the way. Run a pub. <laughs> Perfect. So you guys wake up to the sound of you know clanging and ships being built one thing that is strange is that you couldn't hear that before is the festival still going on i presume yeah i mean the festival's due to run for at least another day or two huh. so you guys are all still in your separate rooms at the moment you are sharing i believe Yes, I believe it's me and Frankie. Heck. Correct. Does that mean I'm... we had a long rest? Yep. Did I did we wink yep. wink? <laughs> please, 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 yes, Gib. Yep, you had a long you rest. <clears throat> cool, I'm feeling pretty refreshed now after that long rest. Um, if I had a roommate, oh. I would hundred percent spend the entire night doing walkie-talkie message back and forth, like <laughs> like high school sleepover style. Like <laughs> just as soon as someone's about to fall asleep, oh hey, you still up? Uh, did you enjoy today? How's that fish? Just like whispering, just whispering back and forth, just keeping poor Kraz up all night. Kraz uh, just keep checking in on Frankie, making sure he's feeling better from the day before. Throughout the night. Nothing that more that delicious wine can't fix. 
<laughs> Quality. Right. Let's go get some breakfast, I guess. Can okay. we get breakfast from the pub that we're in? Yeah. Way to find go? out, right? Yeah. Right. We'll, we'll, well, I'm, me and Frankie will walk out the room, then I'll knock on Gather the door. Downstairs. Yeah. yeah. Right. Walk downstairs. Gathering by the bar. Ready to start the day. So as you come down, this bar that, as we said before, always had like a constant sort of flow to it. Seems to be really sparse. But, you know. Jardik's still there. What was his name, sorry? <laughs> Jardik. I've got two names written down here. Jardik and Talasar. I'm pretty sure... Definitely Jardik. I thought Jarnik. pretty sure it was Jardik. a complete different name. What have you got? <laughs> Uh, hang on, let me just look back in my time of truths. <laughs> Travaskin. His name? Travaskin yes, is his the name. Yes, his name is Travaskin. I think it was the other one. Oh, yeah. Travaskin, of course. Travaskin. No. Travaskin. See, everyone's jumping at that. Oh, I've got <laughs> Travaskin. It's just name Travaskin's throughout my book of my time of truths. Here we go. Yeah, I've actually got like in a completely separate pad, so I had to check that one because I knew I'd written the name down wrong in this one. <laughs> it's like, no. right, let's just, uh, yeah, go for that one again. So, yeah. In. It's actually his uh, identical brother, like in Hot Fuzz. <laughs> Morning! <laughs> <laughs> Ah. Still How do you? Yep. Yeah. yeah, we still have breakfast on. Right. <sighs> cool. It's nothing particular happening today. Not really. Not as much as I can tell, anyway. Oh. Seems rather empty in here. I'd have thought, especially with yesterday and the festival being on, there were so many more people. Yeah, but I was expecting a, a few more <coughs> uh, customers in. Uh, but I'll, I'll get you food. Uh, just, just bear with us a moment. Uh, what do you want? Uh, what's everyone having? Um, is there any mushrooms? <laughs> I, I, <laughs> Do you mean I, ever, I, I, or do you mean on the menu? I mean, well, if, you, if you're offering, I'd, I'd very much enjoy some mushrooms and some toast. If there are no mushrooms, then just bread is fine. You love a bit of bread. I do love bread. All the bread. Oh, right, mushrooms on good. toast for this gent! Well, can I get the rest of you? <coughs> you you're alright? You feeling alright? Yeah, 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 it's just passing through. If, if you've got a sore throat, I've, um, I bought some new tea. We could, if you could get a pot for us all, you could help yourself if you wanted. I've heard it's relaxing. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I will actually. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll get, I'll get a pot going. Yeah, tea all round. Yeah. But before yes, you even finish the sentence, Frankie's like scampering up the stairs, excited, giddy, like squealing about his <laughs> new little tea leaves. Does he look like visibly sick, or is it just the sort of sniffing? In the Give car? me an insight or medicine check, your preference. Oh, they're Don't both the same. Him, just give him tea. Oh, uh, nah, medicine. A brew fixes everything. He doesn't look great. You're no expert. This is true. Um, but you know, you this man definitely looks like a stage worse than he did yesterday. Mm. All right. Doesn't seem fit to be working when he's this sick, but if it's his place. I'm not gonna say anything about it. I'm gonna say you look like shit. <laughs> I don't think that would go down too well. Nah. Just what would you recommend for breakfast? Well, 
We have got the uh, Orion special, as usual. You know, meat, veg, toast for your friend, I guess. Um, comes with a brew. Sounds good to me. All right, one Orion special. That'll be one silver. All right, well, I'll hand them over a silver. Okay, mark off one silver. Yep, yep. Uh, what about you two? Uh, <coughs> what can I get you? Um, the same, please. Yeah, I'll go for a special too. Sounds powerful. Alright, uh, yeah, Silver H, as he's given his tea, I'm not gonna faff over some fucking mushrooms. <laughs> Alright, he like takes the uh, Silver H off you guys and um, he starts heating up some water in um, anticipation of the tea arriving and makes his way into the back room. Do you, does he look alright to you? To everyone who's still here? He doesn't look great. Uh, he certainly yeah. doesn't sound great, does he? He looks very different from yesterday. You said it was very sparse in here. Are there any other people at all? Um, no. Okay. Hmm. That's strange. The only, other person really you, the only other person you see in here is the half-elf lady who was helping him out the other day. Does she look sick? From where you're sat, like at the table and everything? Uh, Are you proficient in medicine? No, but I can see good. You can, but (laughs) I I would say you wouldn't you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. Uh, She, you can definitely hear that, you know, she's not at her full health, put it that way. She's she's okay. she's down with something. But no idea what it is. Mm. No. Cool. Oh dear. <laughs> Seems like they've both got it. Hope we don't get any sneeze on our toast. Yeah. I was just thinking that. Oh. Builds immunities. Sneeze and instead of cheese toast we're gonna get sneeze toast. So um after a moment or two he um he brings you over your, your food. He's like, oh, there you go. Yeah, that's the one for you. you that's your mushroom. You got that tea, mate? Uh, yeah. So when, when Frankie got back down, he would have like instantly just scurried along to the bar and started waving this little pouch of leaves around. Nice one. And he'll take, he'll take a good, like, sort of hefty handful, stick it in. You've got a lot, but, you know, enough to, like, properly brew some tea. And he starts making some tea. Awesome. A couple of minutes passed, and then um, you know he strains it, does all the things you're meant to, and you guys also have a cup of tea for your morning meal. Oh, right. excellent! Taste there. Oh, opt for the tea and pass Frankie my brew. You what? I got a free brew with my meal. But this is our tea. Yeah, but. Just I just saw you take it a lot last night. Woman, just you know. I I, I just big drinker, man. I'm gonna put one hand under the cup to like push it back away from him, and put my other hand with like my index finger on his lips, going shh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> this, this tea is no, no, he's he's giving you the beer and keeping the tea. Yeah, I'm keeping your tea. I'm giving you the beer that I got. Wait, with your my meal. your breakfast comes with beer. Yeah. Oh lord, no, no, absolutely not. Frankie would be shuddering at the thought of drinking again after last night. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were palming off my delight. No, you shared teapot tea. Unbelievable. Never. In which case, no, thank you for the beer. All right. That is the opposite of what I need right now. Thanks. Okay. So you guys tuck into your meal. Um, you seem to be, you know, fully fell, fed up. And well, that sounds wrong, but filled with food. <laughs> it's always after, yeah. Um, anything yeah. else you want to do? Well, for me, I guess we. I am intrigued to see what all the clang is going on outside. So, just to be clear, it's not a case of it's new clanging. Mm-hmm. It is. This was happening when you're in the market and stuff. You could hear that in the distance, and when you then like took a when you came in, that you know they're always building ships. 
constantly. Mm -hmm. It's the fact you couldn't hear it from where you were before. What do you mean from where we were? So from where you are, situated mm -hmm. in the city, to yeah. where the clanging was before, oh, you could not hear that. Got you. Potentially. Yeah, the, the noise is more prevalent. Yeah, you can you can yeah. now hear something that was too far away before. Yeah. Maybe there's more than working on something. But still, if we go have a look. To, to, to the group. Let's go, let's go investigate. Mm, okay. Nice and filled up with botanical teas. Nature's good. How, how was the tea? Was it delicious? It was amazing, but I love anything natural, so um, I enjoyed particularly the petals and leaves floating around on it. Um, nice. It, it was actually a good a good tasting tea surprisingly so like for the amount you got and like you know the price you're like that's actually some pretty damn good tea for at that price yeah maybe we should go back for more it's together's shop oh, it's together's working <laughs> maybe yeah. once we get through this I mean, we've yeah. got plenty right. had to sack of tea on the way out the door i'll thank what else do we need <laughs> So you guys are leaving, yeah? Yes. Seems to be. Okay. So you guys come out, and now that you're out, you don't see anyone on the streets. Do we still hear the clanging? Yep. Give me a wisdom check. Why is AF? <laughs> Okay, who's proficient with perception? Let's have a look. Me. You are. Okay, and <laughs> as is Frankie. And okay, so so, so both of you realise that it hasn't got louder and it hasn't got closer. It's just there's no sound. Wait, there's no sound. You guys can't hear anyone in the streets. You're not hearing. You know, the usual, like, calls out, nothing. Step back in the end quickly. Sure. Do, do I hear it again? Yeah, no, like, you hear the clanging and what have okay, you. What I'm saying is you out. don't hear anything but the clanging. Like, there are no normal street sounds. There are no people in the streets. There's no, you know, like, the only sound you can hear is somebody persistently still trying to build a ship. That's it. Um, has oh, anyone oh. been to the toilet today? <laughs> no. Because what if this is a dream, right? Because no one goes to the toilet in their dreams. So I might it's have to yourself? go to the toilet to prove that this isn't a dream. What, so you're You've just going to lay one down on the dream. floor to see if it's real? <laughs> no, no, no. We're next to the inn. I'm sure I can go inside and use the... botanical plop. Frank, have I mean... you never gone to the toilet in your dreams? What? No, you wake up and then you go, oh, it's toilet time, right? That... What? Uh, Wait, no. Kat, do you do you go to the toilet in your dreams? I mean, I have been to a restroom in my dreams, yeah. Oh, but what? Woke up, fine. Well, fine. Not yeah, so clear. Wet. No. No, you don't do a wee in real life. You just dream of the wee. Thank you. It's a dream. <laughs> doesn't sound possible. So what are you Do guys you need doing? The bathroom, is that what you're trying to say? No, we're arguing just, about this, urine. This feels like a dream, right? If if no. did... Okay, it's just me. <laughs> <laughs> Too much botanical tea for Frankie. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. What kind of <laughs> mushrooms were they? I head towards the sound of the clanging. Find out who is out on the streets sure you guys um give me who's helming this i can oh excuse me <laughs> pick up you go for it peter on pc let's go okay so i need you to give me a investigation check please as you're trying to fight fight oh here we go it's bad time to get hiccups um as you're trying to like root out where this is coming from. 
Okay, so it, it does take you a while. There's a couple of red herrings and, you know, times where you go down a street and then you realise it's a dead end and kind of um, Kraz is able to, having been here a few times, like help you find another route. Um, it takes you a good sort of like 45 minutes to an hour to cross the city and find it. So hour and a half later, you arrive at the docks. Bloody hell. <laughs> Anyone here? Yeah. Yeah, what can we see? Uh, give me a perception check. Nice, okay. Um, you can see that there's like three people who are still working on this, like, you know, ship. And not a huge amount of other people. Like, there's quite a few people on their boats, but there's no one on the docks apart from the harbour master and a couple of guards. There's no traffic, there's no people trading goods. Does the boat look overfilled with people? No. Okay. And there's no, like, just normal passers-by. Nope. It's just people working. Yep. Okay. Hello! And I'll greet the workers. You walk over, I assume, as well, don't you, yeah, Stad? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Hello, we're a difference. Yeah. <laughs> um, you are sick. <laughs> so, um, you walk over, and it's just like, Morning! Where is everyone? Well, I understand that a few people have come down with something, but th that's about as much as I know. The few... the streets are empty, it's the fish festival. The, the festival of fish and giving, but yes. I don't, I don't know, I was, I was on my boat like most of the night, so we just oh. came back, finished, you know, carrying on with our work, that's what we do. Mm. And you're not feeling unwell at all? No, I feel fine. Uh, you know, I mean, it's not like I get paid if I am ill either, so... Fair enough. Do, do we feel alright? As far as you guys can tell, you feel okay. Dodgy fish. Fair away. I mean... Uh. Didn't we eat the fish last night, though? You did not. We Heck. did not. Because um, things about the fish. Just finally caught up with us. Mm. Can I poke around? Ah, oh, no, I... never mind. Go on, do <laughs> some poking. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> poke. Yeah. Poke it. Can I... Poke it. Can I smell my fish? Does Excuse it smell. Me? Like non fishy. No. Um. Go ahead. Give me a perception check. Does your fish not smell like a fish? Yeah. Your fish Don't smells worry. like a fish. Right, so, <laughs> so, these poor dock workers were just minding their own business. <laughs> a big guy walked up to them like, "Where is everyone?" And then massive half fox sniffing, sniffing his fish. Sniffing it. <laughs> without any context, just like. Well, no. We were discussing in front of them. Maybe it was the fish. <laughs> I haven't just walked up, asked the question, and then started sniffing a giant fish. So <laughs> want some more context, okay? I feel like that's what's happened. Oh. Oh, I mean... What oh, odd scenario. Oh, shit. Were all, all those people on your boat, were they on your boat as well last night? Hmm? Sorry? What? Um... Some of them were. Like, I mean, we're not, we're not a family and we're not that way inclined, so we go to our mm. own. Do you have any fish last night? Yes. yes. Alright, I don't think it's the fish. Alright, well, thanks for your time. Sure. And just looks very baffled by this entire, like, conversation <laughs> and just goes back to work. <laughs> really? Um, well, if everyone's ill, we can either find a new town that isn't ill, or <laughs> maybe we could go and look where all the ill people are. Is there, would there be like, I don't know if hospitals exist, but a place where sick people are taken purposefully to be looked after? Maybe um, go... There are like 
hospitals are a bit like of a strong um yeah. like that's very like modern but there are places where the ill are taken to yeah. some of them are churches and places of worship Cemetery. yeah yeah true the morgue. Uh, yeah but a lot but there are places where you know there are healers specifically who help the less fortunate the ones that can't necessarily afford magical healing that sort of stuff there are definitely those about oh, good idea um, Frankie would have suggested the not religious equivalent of the church. That wouldn't have. The not them. religious equivalent of the church. <laughs> I mean, what? If Do there you... was like a, a medic circus. Well, if, if there's like a, a someone known in the town like herbal remedies, or if there's some a place where people just you know, like more of like a war medic than a religious medic, if that makes sense. Sure. So you're looking for the you're looking for like the the nearby like health clinic, effectively. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Um. Give me an investigation check. Heck. Oh, and you're smart. Big brain. Uh. Ta da. Okay. You talk to a couple of people. Um. It takes you a little while. Um couple of guards kind of give you like interesting looks um but you're able to push on persevere and eventually you are able to come across um the wayward health clinic so there are guards in the street still yeah right. um, i approach the wayward health clinic okay you you know you it's a building. It... Are you knocking, door? walking? What are you doing? If there is a door to knock upon it, I shall knock indeed. Do indeed knock. And you just you just hear a... <laughs> Come in, please. Yes. Uh, hi there. Just a disclaimer. Me and my friends, as far as we're aware, are not ill, but... Speaking no, of you're people, one of the fortunate ones. Sorry, like, if you're not ill, like, I really don't have much time. And you can just hear this cacophony of coughing and vomiting and going on and moans of pain like in the health center um well you see the, the thing is we we helped another local yesterday and it's becoming a bit of a hobby for us now so i guess we are uh gonna try and help um we're not i mean i don't particularly care about this town i'm here for the fish and the money but that said i do care about our fellow people so is there anything we can do to help at all <laughs> Um, aside from, you know, bedpans and cleaning, like... Find out what's causing this. I've never seen something so virulent. I, I honestly would suggest just staying in whatever accommodation you have and having as least amount of contact as possible with people. Ah, snow day, nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, have you noticed any common... I don't know, anything that could have caused it? Nothing. It, it purely seems to just be groups of people come in having no connection with one another and they're just infected. I, 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 I'm I really sorry. I don't have time to discuss this. I really do appreciate your help, but I have patients and some of them may not be here by the end of this conversation. So I really do need to leave. Oh, that's, um, that's serious, of course. Quick question for Philip, not from Frankie. So in this world, how much would be known about health? Is it the case that they don't know what washing hands are, they just put leeches on people? It's, it, no, it's a mixture of both. I mean, you've got magic, so it's like they understand like curing wounds, fixing, you know, setting bones, that kind of stuff. There is yeah, there is a good. kind of mixture of like, you know, your classic um, full-on council estate scum who, even though they know about washing their hands and everything, will still cough on people in a pandemic. And then yeah. you've got people who, you know... Are doctors and nurses who really understand this stuff so there's the full range hmm. yeah. I mean there's gal there here, then. thank you and just shuts the door and immediately starts getting back to work anyone any ideas I guess they don't want help I mean, we could try somewhere else. They asked for us to go and find out what was causing it. Can I get all of you, please, to make a constitution saving throw? Heck. Damn right. Big rolls. 
Oh, what? Where's my window gone? Uh, Absolute gamer. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Strong. Excellent. Okay, cool. So what are you guys doing? <laughs> what? Uh, any ideas? Where, where, where do you go to find out what causes a plague? <laughs> uh... um, well, working on the farm, we always had to make sure that, you know, when we're eating animals and killing animals, we had to try and be as clean as possible. But, I mean, I don't know. We we did I didn't eat at the fair last night. I mean, we ate at the at the inn. Maybe everyone was had like a communal meal and ate something bad. I I don't know. It's possible. But surely the whole town worth of people couldn't all eat the same dish. That just seems ridiculous. So it can't be. I don't uh, know. Or something also, in the water, perhaps. Tra travel Symptoms skin. seem a bit more fluishy. Yeah. Yeah. This this doesn't sound like food poisoning. I mean, if it was food related, it would be more anusy. This is like quite coffee and snotty. I don't seems. think you've asked anyone about the anuses today, though, Alessandra. So I don't think we can rule that out. Should, should we go back and double check with everyone? Yeah. <laughs> How's your maybe. anus today, good sir? <laughs> maybe, maybe let's not do that. You know, people already at least give me weird looks. Is there a slight smell of a thousand anuses chiming at once? <laughs> Does the air smell like shit? Yeah, that's what I meant, but more poetic, keep it. Kraz is not poetic. Um, no. <laughs> the air smells like normal. Maybe a bit fresher okay. because actually there's not as many people about, but that's about it. Let's, well, that let's rules speak. out the food poisoning sharting. Is, is there like a main, like, having been here before, is there like a main, like, town hall or like main guard post where, like, Main authority authority is kept. Yeah, there is. There's the um, there's the actual fort itself. Obviously, the the city has then expanded around it and it's just kept the name. Um, but Fort Tokai is just, you know, like it is a garrison place. So there is the commander's yeah. post. There are there's the actual gates to the fort, and that's also where the mayor resides as well. Ah, let's why well, don't we go up and see if we can mayorish yeah. get go pay them a visit. Yeah, see if the mayor's got an L. Yeah. If anyone wants to know, it would be him, huh? Okay, so you guys making your way, like, to the to the inner fort, as it were? Yeah, I presume I would roughly know the way. Yep. Um, I can see it. Yep, yeah, it, it's, not, it's not too hard to make, uh, find. It is both the edge of the city and also part of the dock it is obviously there to you know protect the docks as well as you know repel anything along the border that that's this entire place you can see it clearly it has it has a weird structure to it you would say it was dwarvish in like how thick and sturdy um, it's built, but at the same time, there seems to be flashes of elven inspiration and human sort of ingenuity. No. The later forts that um, that were risen up after Trinity, this is far more common because obviously with the unity of the um, the three royalties, the three kingdoms coming Trinity, at places like Feathers Fall, which is obviously just across Boundary Bay, that that is a complete amalgamation of all three styles because that's what it is but this is an old fort so it's interesting to see that all of the three major races in trinity have been able have given their inspiration to this construction and this is an old fort so that that is in itself quite interesting as one notice <laughs> As you guys approach, um, you know, guards at the gate, it's just like, Morden, what can I do you for? Just wandering around, seems that everyone's fallen sickly ill. How are you all feeling? Got a job to do. <clears throat> oh, are you feeling right. okay? Yeah, I guess. Like, what's it to you? Oh, we've just 
been asked by the clinic downtown to see if we can find out what's causing it. So, you know, more information, the better. Uh, yeah, okay. Is the meth... What would what would he be addressed as? So he, he is Marchio. Marchio Tok uh Marchio Tokai. Ah. Marchio. Yep. Mr. Tokai available for an audience. To give you his full name, Marchio Istvan Tokai. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Someone's up and Sounds spicy. I'm just waiting to see how it's spelled. <laughs> Yeah, is Mr. Tokai available for an audience? Uh, the Marchio is not really taking visitors at the moment. You just hear the other guy kind of steps in. Okay. Could we make an appointment with him? I mean, who are you to him? Concerned citizens? Yeah, I think we've got enough of them. Look, if you want to make an appointment, speak to one of the sergeants or the captain, alright? Like, you'll find... Well, don't bother the captain. Speak to one of the sergeants. You'll find them around the town somewhere. They're trying to find people. Okay. Uh, Frankie hating the bureaucracy of all this. Right, sorry, mate. If, if you want to try and get something done today to help the people in this town, what should we do? Who should we... Is there, is there someone more pedestrian if you know sir tokai has got too many things to do who, who, who's got time for us he kind of looks at you and he kind of just like holds himself from like being really cutting you can just see he's like no i'm on duty like kind of <laughs> and he just takes that sort of step <laughs> that, that sort of breath and just being like <clears throat> look mate i get you trying to help get that our job Make sure no one gets in that's not needed or wanted, okay? You've taken it upon yourselves to help out. Great. Crack on. Nice work. We're here. Stop nut jobs and the like getting through, okay? You're not known to him, so you're not getting in. If the sergeant, you know, gives you a writ saying for us to let him in, awesome. Go... Go have a look at, like, you know, one of the health centres or one. go to one of the temples. I'm sure they've got plenty of people that would happily help. You'd be surprised. <laughs> I'll just turn around and start walking. Around. Maybe we yeah. should have just asked this together. Oh, she's oh. sick. She's the only person with all the answers. <laughs> Don't think she has all the answers, but certainly go for it. She knew where to buy good biscuits. This is true. Alright, let's go see this together and then if there's any sergeants around we can maybe... Yeah, talk. I think we oh, should yeah. um, go go to see this together because she's the only person that's been very friendly to us so far. That's true. Alright, well, thank you for your time. Thank you. Yep, yeah, sure. Right, we'll head back towards the cloud seas. Okay. Cloud seas it is. As you approach, you notice that it's all shuttered up. No. Oh no! <laughs> what? <laughs> My day's just getting worse and worse. <laughs> well, that's not too surprising. All right, let's see if we can find a sergeant then, I guess. Running out of options. Wait, is it supposed to be shut? Is there a sign on the wall that says when it's open? Is there any sign on the wall? Maybe, maybe she doesn't do Tuesdays, you know? <laughs> well, <laughs> actually, it is currently uh, 51.42 AOE of Cobas the 27th. I will have you know. Yeah, yeah. but that's not a day. Uh, it technically is. Cobars is a Wednesday in if you were to convert Actually. it to ours. Cool. Actually, when we talk about that's bullshit. I'm talking complete shit. Cobars is the month. Yeah. And you are on Malat, which is the day. All right. Wait, what language is this? It is a calendar that I came up with for this. Okay, world. I was going to say because I recognise most languages, and I was. 
This is a new one I need to learn. So yeah, right. I, I can I can give you guys links to the calendar so you can see like what we're yes, doing. Yes, please. I don't like not knowing. Okay, I'll sort that things. out later on. It's no worries. <laughs> But you're, you're basically on, um, so Malat, which is, it's a five-day week they have. Um, so Malat is the middle day, um, and you're on the 27th day. Each uh, This month has 48 days in it, and the month is called Kobez, which is uh, spelt like Coburn, so K-O-C-H-B-E-Z. Me? Yep. And the year is just double check this 5142 AOE AOE stands for Age of Empires trademarked no it's in like it's it's because that's when the actual empire yeah. so before the AOE there was um there was the Age of Blood mm -hmm. and before that there was TRG which is the time of relics and gods so those are the three sort of time Errors. slash ages whatever you want to do it yeah eras like so far of this world that have at least been recorded cool all right looking around are there any like sergeants walking about easily identifiable sergeants um it would take you a while but you know from enough guards being like yeah he's down there and another one going no 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 he's up there mate and then you get you know finally goes oh him yes just uh take down there and go down the right eventually you will come across one of the sergeants um you see this short gnome guy that seems to be really kind of um like being direct and interestingly actually make me a perception check someone I can do it. Okay. It seems weird that, like, with each person, he's different. Mm -hmm. But that's all you really pick up. So, and, you know, it, you see them, then all kind of like groups of three. They all kind of scatter off um, throughout the city. And he's left there with one other guard. Hello. Hi. Hi. Uh, we were told to come and see you if apparently you're looking for people and we were advised to come to you if we're looking to help. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What help do you want? Well, no, we're looking to offer our help with this in sickness. Oh, uh, okay. Sure, sure, sure. How? Well, is there anything that we can do for you? Don't know. I mean, what can you do? We've been doing some investigating since we've been in town, helping a, a local businessman try and solve out some of his uh, thieving issues. So I guess we've got a knack for clues. Uh, points of we've got this guy. He's good at killing stuff. Pest uh, control don't really want much of that if I'm the honest pest control wise right okay well do you know... no, go on do you, do, you, do you happen to know what's causing this illness because yesterday everyone was fine and enjoying themselves now today there's not a soul to be seen right it's weird um <laughs> Frankie would Frankie would pull out his rapier, which has still got the impaled corpses of three rats on there, and he's gonna go. It might not have something to do with this. You seem to have a rat problem around town. Start, rat kebab. Start switching the rat kebab around. He's just gonna look at you and go. It's a port. Of course, we have a rat problem. Um, but if I... dirty rats came from a dirty port because obviously this is a nice port right right guys we all, we all love this it's port a however port. yeah maybe you traded with a nasty dirty port who don't yeah. feel like you wouldn't get a cough from a rat though do i get a sense from him like is this like does this seem to be like normal or does he seem to be high give me an insight <laughs> check <laughs> <laughs> don't know can't read him don't know this is a man of the law, he would never do such things. 
it's just... Well, how are you feeling? Fine. Are you Fine. sure? Yeah. Yeah. No high <laughs> temperature <laughs> poor guy is... <laughs> And we're all like, are you okay, <laughs> No. I mean, some of the lads seem to have a cough. Just a cough? Yeah, the other symptoms. Do I get anything from looking at the other guy that stayed behind? How like, do you mean? Like, is he, like, rolling his eyes over how slow this guy is, or reacting in any way to him, or does he is he acting like this is completely normal? He seems unfazed. He's more checking you guys out. Fair. <laughs> Maybe he is just like that. <laughs> But, so, are you doing anything to investigate the sickness? Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything we... Can we assist with that? Sure. How can we assist with that? <sighs> well... You should probably go speak to the captain. Um, he's, you know, big brain. Um... But <laughs> we, we were told we wouldn't be able to speak to him. Oh, I can sort that. Squat can sort these things out. And he take he like clicks a few times, and the guy hands him what a little. What's his name? Squat. Yeah. Squat. squat. Yeah. <laughs> Sergeant Squat. Yeah. Sergeant Squat. <laughs> Sergeant Squat, and then a rattling of typing in the background and excitement. Yeah. He is a gnome. Um, he seems oh quite well God. dressed. Uh, quite well dressed, even not dressed. Uh, quite well dressed. Um, seems to be, from the way that people seem to react to him and everything, seems to be quite, you know, well respected. You didn't see anyone like storming off or anything like that. All of his men seem to do him quite well, but that's Aww. about as much you can pick up. Thank you, Sergeant Squat. So Aww. he You're racist. He um he gives you a little um like a little note. That just says um, authorized entry, Sergeant Squat, like signature. He goes, uh, so just uh, take that. And he hands it to Peter. I will pocket it and thank, thank him. Where might thank we you, find the captain? Where might we find the captain? Oh, he'll, uh, he'll be in the fort. Can't see well. Yeah. Thanks. Well, thank you, Sergeant Squat. Thank you, Sergeant Squat. Sergeant. Have a lovely day. <laughs> thank you, Squatty. Gonna do Squatty right. boy. No, he 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 shoots you guys a look when you say that. Oh no, I didn't mean it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me a bully. I would just nudge Peter like, what the fuck? Come on, he's nice. <laughs> He just like, has no idea what he's done wrong. Give me an insight yeah, check. I genuinely he wanted, thought he one. was cute. I was just trying to be cute. He's not. Like, he's guys, got to remember, this isn't like Baby Yoda. You're in a you're in a land where <laughs> where like gnomes <laughs> and short people, <laughs> like. Oh my god. This is <laughs> like. Baby Yoda. This is his life. He's, a, he's an NPC yeah. to you, but this is his entire life of being. <laughs> Yeah, like, he is a normal person. Like, he's no different to Istagella, who was like also a gnome. You so know, like, it's... it's. Gnome. Don't gnomes live, like, hundreds of years? Yeah, yeah. like, so... Years of this shit, and you're so do baby Yodas. <laughs> so it's like, that's just what you guys need to remember, is like, you know, this is a real world. So yeah. if somebody said, hi, my name's Sergeant Squat, and then you, uh, bearing in mind, this is the equivalent of like going up to a police a inspector <laughs> and then turning around and going, all right, Squatty, how do you reckon that's going to go down when he's just <laughs> giving you some help? Depends if he's got a sense of humor or not. Uh, I mean, I think it would just be regardless seen as disrespectful. True. Peter, give me an insight check, because you said you Peter wouldn't know, but give me an insight it's check. Peter, no. <laughs> yeah. yeah, with advantage. Peter's not speaking English. Peter spelled Peter with Y. <laughs> Peter, not speaking you English. You 100% know what you've done. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> apologies. Apologies for him. And or just try and There is away. no way that you know there's no way that you don't know calling someone whose nickname or name is Squat, who's just helped you, is a figure of authority and happens to be short, squatty, isn't gonna be seen as an insult and being really disrespectful. I mean he has a point. I'll apologize. What do you say? What does Peter say? A apology, Sergeant Squat. Sure. And just turns and starts walking away. Peter, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I mean, Peter's better with dead things and I'm better with animals than we are with humans. Gotta let these things go. Well, he wasn't even human, so that's not even a uh, a good a good excuse. Humanoids. He's bloody bad. I forgot to say. <laughs> Christ, just be a bit more considerate. Okay, so you guys now have a writ that will you hope at least allow you entry into the fort. Is there anything else you want to be doing? Looking out for more gnomes and guiding Peter away. Any cute animals about? Doggies, cats, fish? No, uh, give me a it's perception. It's been a while since I petted anything. Give me a perception check. Uh, nope. Oh. Uh. Right, well, so we'll head back to the fort then. Okay. So before we go. So you guys, the captain. you guys spend another, like, you know, this is taking you a couple of hours now, walking around, find, you know, going to the dock and back. I need everyone to roll me another constitution saving throw, please. I never fail. What does the constitution saving throw do in this? You guys uh, don't know, yeah. except for the fact that L, <laughs> you now have one point of exhaustion. Ooh. So what do I do? Oh. So go, go to uh, you just conditions. Have to slow your speed down. No, it's not. It's definitely <laughs> not. Yeah, under your health, it says conditions in the and beyond. Yeah, at the bottom there's exhaustion. If you click the one, it should tell you what happens. Um, I'm just trying to find my health. Right, no, 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 no. So like top right conditions. It's just below that. Click where it says add active conditions and then at the very bottom you've got exhaustion and you want to put one yeah like that yeah uh, like frankie's done hang on hang on hang on, hang on. where are those going sorry no right. sorry sorry oh i don't know where that is right l stop 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 for a second be on your main page because i can literally see it okay on on your main page you've got your hit points right Below that, it says conditions. Click in the box where it says add active conditions. Oh, right. okay, got it. Yeah. Ah. Well, exhaustion's right at the bottom. Yeah. And what does Let's it go. say? Um, you might have to click on exhaustion and then scroll down. Oh, okay. And it will say level one, two, three, four. It says disadvantage on ability checks. Correct. Read the last one real quick. Death. Don't hit six. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not quite feeling yourself but uh, you're not having a great time at the moment would we notice a change in Peter's demeanour it's up to Peter would you try and hide it would you be outwardly like you know what are you doing so like what 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 is it because like has he started coughing yet or nope what? that's not what i said i said you're just not feeling yourself you're not you're not feeling great at the moment um yeah surely i'd notice this because i spend a lot of time with him you can make a perception check or a medicine check to see if you would notice it i don't think he would hide it you do notice it okay but peter's not gonna hide it so what are you doing then I'll just, I'll probably uh, nudge Yelly and just say, I'm not feeling too good. How are you feeling? I'm feeling okay at the moment. 
What? What? What do you feel like? What's wrong? Just, just feel a bit. I don't know, like a little bit drained. Maybe mm, it's that something. Doesn't seem like you though. Um, and then he'll whisper to her, "Do, do I look okay?" You look. I didn't think it was possible, but you do look paler than usual. <laughs> I meant that in a handsome way, by the way. <laughs> um... What are you guys doing? Oh, we're still walking up to the port. Yeah, I guess we're just conversing on the way to back to Dorma. Frankie and Krause, Peter's not feeling too good. What's up? Um, do we? Do you want some water? I instantly would just offer water, like out of habit, because water fixes everything. This is true. Oh, I'll take it. Thank you. He, he started to come over really tired. I'm just, I just feel a bit drained. I feel a bit, oh, I don't know. I feel a bit tired. Okay, well, let's try and get an early night tonight then. Are you okay to carry on? Like, if, if, if you need to take, like, five or, you know, the evening off, just let us know. No, no, I can, I, I can go on. It's okay. I just think he's a bit tired. If it gets any worse, I'll let you know. Okay. If oh. it gets any fa worse, we'll find an apothecary. Well, Sounds like a plan. Might not be the best place at the moment. Actually, yeah. maybe we should visit one anyway. And see if they know anything. And especially if Peter can try and, you know, explain how he's feeling. We've yeah. Got, uh, we've got inside information on how this <laughs> disease is spreading. <laughs> I mean, do we? Well, you know, wait. Okay. Am, I, am, I, am I the only one assuming that Peter's now going to die of the disease? Is that. <laughs> what? What? Why would you think that? He's just tired. But, no, I mean. The whole, the whole town is tired, Kraz. No, they're not. They're coughing. It's very oh. I mean, I guess we're all going to feel a bit paranoid because we're the only ones unaffected by this. So anyone in our group showing a bit of illness, it looks suspicious. Well, I guess so maybe we, we all... should just find an apothecary anyway and just ask if they know anything. I mean, I feel like we got that impression last time that they don't. When we Is that an actual the... medicine yeah, shop, though? Yeah, it's a health clinic. Yeah, but this is, I mean, like a pharmacy rather than a clinic. Yeah, asking a salesperson rather than a nurse, they'll be a bit... Yes, more that's what I mean. Trying to make money, whereas <laughs> a natural physician, understandably... Yeah, really a salesperson is going to want to give us the info. Mm. Anyway, we've got this note. We might as well go and show it to the guards and see if we can get a, you know, a, a quick little brief chat with someone in you can, you know, go a bit more direction. Okay, yeah. Peter, let us know if you get any worse. Yeah, if, if, if things get worse, let us know. We can, you know, as Yelly said, get down to a uh, apothecary and get you sorted. Sounds good, sounds good. Let's press on. Okay, so what are you doing? You're walking up to the fort. Yep, yep. Running along to the fort. Okay. So you guys arrive at the fort, greeted by the same guards. I was say just before we walk up, I'll say Peter actually, Frankie might have a point. If I mean, if he's even thinking that he might have this, maybe you shouldn't be up front doing the talking because they might turn you away from the important people. That just just try and you know stand sensible. up a bit straight. He'll straighten his shoulders, try to look half decent. Give me a performance check. I believe. Yeah, That's you're strong. pretty confident that you know you're you're hiding your illness. I could always um try and cover up the paleness with some of my makeup if you want, Peter. <laughs> I mean, we're walking up. Some of that point. lovely red and blue. Yeah. It it's all right. I'll let you know if you know if I get any worse. Feel free, do me up, that's fine. But let, let's just get this out of the way first. Right. Do you want to put... 
Are you feeling okay to talk, or should one of us go with the rat? Um, I, I, I'll be okay. I'll be okay. All right, lead the way. All right. So, what can we see? You're at the gates. If you guys yeah. are walking up to them, so it's just taking you a little while, but you've managed to get there. And are there um, guards there? Is it the captain? He said the same guard that met us out front last time who turned us away. Yep. Uh, hello? Hi. Hi. We actually now have a rip from Sergeant Squat saying that we can come in and talk to the captain. Would you mind letting us through, please? Uh, sure, where's the rip? Uh, I'll get it out of my top pocket and unfold it and hand it over. Alright, hang on, and you can see like, they open, the, you just hear the like, knock on the gate, and it goes, open for one, and they open it, op open it up as the guard enters, uh, the door's then shut, you know, mm -hmm. a minute or two passes, door then opens again, and this time there's uh, f four guards with him, he goes, alright, I'll see you inside, come on. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Very smug smile on Frankie's face. <laughs> <laughs> Looking eyes with the guard as you go. <laughs> yeah, Lissandre notices a cute pigeon flying by and waves at it. <laughs> Quality. Okay, so you guys are now inside the fort. You're being escorted through to the captain. Um... You can see they're moving you pretty quickly. This is very much a case of like, okay, like, just get you there, have the chat, and instantly out. This is not going to be, you know, dinner or tea. Um, so there's a relatively quickened pace. Um, you go through the lovely um, manicured court gardens, and you go through some of the nice ways. You can see they're definitely not taking you, you know, the scenic route. They're taking you the quickest route through. There's a couple of little places that you kind of like have to quickly dive in and out of as they're just whipping you through. Eventually you do arrive at the entrance to the captain's um, quarters or office. And just one of the guards just goes, one moment. And uh, he he knocks twice. You just hear, yes! and he goes, he enters, shuts the door. He hears some murmuring and he goes, comes back he goes he'll see you you have a few moments at most be quick thank you thanks okay so you guys enter and you see a dwarf like sat in front of you but something's weird about the dwarf doesn't it's have a beard half, it's another half dwarf half human oh just, my Lord. just doesn't have a beard Completely clean shaven, like no stubble, nothing. Blasphemy. Did Esther Gela have a beard? Was she a was gnome. a gnome. Oh. <laughs> uh, as we enter, Frank should be doing a, a plethora of curtsies as shuffling into the centre of the room. He's just like, Well, I've not got all day, so what do you want? Um, we want to help We're regarding the current illness. That okay, seems... cool. Lots of well wishes. How do you want to help? Um, depends what's needed. We've done some investigating work. We've done pest control. If that's what's causing it. Oh, like it, if it was pests, we'd have been having this all the time. Like we don't know what's going on. All we know is that everyone that was at the market yesterday has been hit and as that was pretty much fucking everyone everyone's been hit um is there a certain area of people that were hit first like the people at the mark is this is your friend hard of hearing or something the people at the market were hit anyway <laughs> Or just the entire market. There wasn't a specific food. The market. Yeah, this is going to be market. really, really tedious if I have to say things three times over. Everyone at the market was hit, and because then everyone dispersed from the market, everyone else has been hit. Okay, so it has spread from people to people, not just the people who are in the market, and that's it. Hey, hold well on. 
Okay. Well, that's all you know. There's no further information as to... <laughs> Well, I went to bed last it. night and everything was fine. I woke up this morning, everything's fucked. That's all I know. I am trying to piece this together. You said you're here to help? Great. But so far, I have given you all the information. So, how are you going to help? I mean, if that's all the information, then we know of some people who don't seem to be sick. Which we could go and investigate more, I suppose. Well... Unless anyone else has questions. How are you feeling, Captain? Stressed! Stressed! Un understandable, but not sick in yourself? No! No. And you were at the market? No! I was at my post! That would be why. Um, is there perhaps like a, a head apothecary or someone who deals in, you know, in tinctures, potions, try and help the afflicted? Uh, our friend here is very good with you no know, nature and uh, you know, the natural remedies in the wild. So maybe it, that they could work together and try and figure something out to help people. It's a, to ease the symptoms, if nothing else, perhaps. Uh, there's a clinic down in the you know bowels of this fucking place. Um, there, otherwise, you know, churches, temples. Okay. Um. Just one last thing from me. Um, when we went to, you know, a, a, a clinic, they weren't very quite accepting of our help. Could we get, you no, know, just a scribble from you, just to, you know, urge people to let us try and help them? Because so far, the the professionals, and rightly so, have been quite busy and quite stressed themselves. Well, so how do you how do you intend to help the clinic? We could find the we could help find the cause. We could go and gather. Supplies. That doesn't seem like that will help the clinic. That seems like that will help the overall issue. I can understand yeah. why they turn you away if you're not actually helping the clinic. I would say we could go and find supplies for them. Sure, that that would probably be helpful. I can probably give you a few guards to like, you know, escort you, give you some more prowess, but. You haven't understood. I literally have the men that were on watch last night. We understand. We're not trying to push you or say you're not doing everything you can. Just looking to offer our services where we can. We'll, if unless anyone has anything else, we'll be out your hair. That seems to be it. Right, and you can just see like he uh, uh, just leans over and um, says something under his breath. Um, the guy, one of the guards that stood next to him, you know, like flanking him, um, he gives him a piece of paper, hands it to him, reads it, nods, meets you at the door, and then uh, two of the guards that escorted you in, he just goes, uh, "You and you are with them, okay? Report back once you're done." And they just kind of like, you know, clip to uh, um, uh, attention, nod, and they're waiting on you. All right. uh, thank you, Captain. Clinic it is, then, thank I you guess. Thank sure, you. look, sorry, I know we're not really great. I appreciate the offer. Look, if you do find something like, who started this? This isn't, this is moving too fast with too little footprints to be natural we would have seen a boat that came in with sick people we would have quarantined it at the docks if there'd been people coughing and spluttering at the market we'd have sent them to the clinics or the you know the places of worship so the only thing i suspect is that someone did this um Okay, well, if, if you're thinking it's a targeted attack, then my vote would shift from the clinic to the market, you know, try and investigate there if we think it's a, a, a malicious attempt to try and weaken this proud nation of fish festivalers. Sure, I mean, oh, it's just been a bad day. <laughs> Would you like a cup of tea, Captain? Um, we've had marvellous reviews from it so far. Ale, ale would be much fun. more what I need right now. But thank you anyway. <laughs> okay. Oh. Thanks, Captain. It, um, swing by... Uh, swing by the Athenians. They might have something on this. The who? 
I didn't actually catch the spelling at all. The Athenians. Athenians, got you. They're the people who are basically the librarians. Uh, they're the people who kind yeah. of like, you know, bring in knowledge. You guys know of uh, the temple slash academy of Athena in Athensis, and mm -hmm. that's basically, they are the disciples of them. True. Mm. Right. right. Where are we heading now? Kind of like looking at you impatiently, like, well, fuck off then. I mean, yeah, we'll start walking. <laughs> hey, let's That'll go. Cool. Cool. Um, go speak to the uh, Athenians. Yeah. Remember, we've got two guards with us now as well. Yeah. well hi, hi, both guards. Morning. Morning! Oh, uh, that was back. amazing. Uh, I'm Frankie. Uh, big one is Kraz. Pale one, who is definitely not ill, is Peter. <laughs> the one that waves at pigeons is Yelisandra. Hey! Hey! Where... Okay! Do you know where might the Athenians be in? Yeah! Um... Look, we'll take you, no worries. Thank you. So they kind of like just move to the front and just start. They're like, if you guys keep up, like they they don't want to be on this detail, and so they just they're, they're just trying to get you there, do what you need to do, so they can go back to you know their Same post. Thing. Yeah. Um, it it does. It's taking you guys a while. Um, with coming in, waiting, being escorted in, and what have you. I am going to need everyone to make a Constitution saving throw. Peter, mm. yours will be at disadvantage because it is a saving throw. I believe saving throw and ability checks. I think it's just ability checks at the moment. Okay, well, it would be um, at disadvantage anyway. That's really not good. Um, I mean, you got a critical fail. Um, you take a further point of exhaustion. Would you like to read what your second state of exhaustion does? Uh, when I find it, hang on. It ain't good. Speed halved. Heck. Uh, yep. Question. Still. Speed halved. That wouldn't affect just walking, I presume, because I presume that's like max movement combat speed. Uh, no, it does. It is like you guys are going to slow your pace now in order okay. to keep you know like you move at the slowest so it's up to you you can you've seen peter does seem to be getting worse going to be very tired i mean she doesn't say anything i wouldn't be looking for it he's staring at the ground <laughs> trying not to overthink things <laughs> <laughs> yeah Sandra, i also need you to mark off a point of exhaustion And done, done. Do I just do level one? Yep. yep. Oh. So, guys, I'm starting to feel slightly shit. Ah. Peter, you feeling any worse? I'll be quite honest with you guys. I'm not feeling very good at all anymore. Okay. There is now a sense of urgency in this. Well, more so than there was. You can see the Frankly, guards kind of like just overhearing this, just open up the slight gap that there is between you guys. They just kind of pick up their pace <laughs> ever so slightly. Right. Frankie, you alright? Uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good, guys. Yeah, me too. Alright, well, let's hurry up then. Are you alright to go on, Peter? I'll be okay. Um, you... I just feel quite sleepy, but I think. A Peter? nice little ditty along the way could help wake us up. Peter, can you roll me a d8, please? Uh-oh. What bloody hell is this for? Uh-oh. You <laughs> take five psychic damage. Oh, oh shit. Why kill me? <laughs> roll better. Uh, Peter, do you want us to carry your bags or something? With that... Can I carry Peter? You can certainly try. I will say, Peter, you've got... It, it, you're not quite coughing, but it's definitely getting tickly. You can feel it at the back okay. of your throat. Okay. I will pick up Peter and continue. If permitted. Permitted. Make right. me an athletics check. <laughs> yep, yep. Don't drop me. <laughs> nah. 
Okay. Right. It, with relative ease, Peter's not the heaviest of people, although he does wear quite substantial armour. Yeah. Um, you are able to carry him for, I'd say, an hour. You would then have to stop and rest for a little bit before you can continue again, because it doesn't matter how yeah, heavy I'll... the weight is, like, you know, yeah. sustained Nothing. weight. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I'm aware. <laughs> yeah, well, I presume it's less than an hour now to the Athenians. It is indeed. Yeah, cool. I'll carry Peter the rest of the way. Thank you. Right. Trot, 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 trot. Okay, so you guys do manage to make it then to sort of like the the uh, the entrance to the Athenians. You can see that it is shut. The guards, however, do you just you know they're like. Open up. City guard business, open up! And you can hear like the door does creak slightly. And there's a little bit of conversation. And one of them steps out. They've got very blue, green, and white robes. It's like a. Um, it sort of fades from blue to green. And on any of the uh, like cuffs or collars and um, anything that you would sort of say is like. Uh, how to put it? really bad way of describing this. I can envision it, but I can't <laughs> describe it very well. Like the accents. Mm -hmm. mm. If you were designing a car, it'd be layer two instead of layer one. Mm. Um, that sort of thing. You know, it's all very green to blue or blues to green. And then the rest of it is a very, very, almost impossibly clean and crisp white. Hello. Hi. I understand you need our help? I think everyone does. Um, we're here, as our friends here have said, on guard business to help find out what is causing this illness. And we were told that you would be the best people to go to. I mean, we're, we're looking, but as we're not really permitted too far from our grounds, we don't really... <sighs> We were, we were waiting on the clinic or one of the plate people to come by. But as, as you're here, do you have um, do you have note of any symptoms or how this started? We don't really have much to go on at the moment, apart from there's an illness affecting everyone rapidly. Uh, symptoms so far seem to be tiredness into lethargy and then a cough. Okay, okay. Do we know if it's fatal? I tried to ask the captain, but he didn't respond. Um, okay, okay, all right, all right. Well, we'll uh... <sighs> you you can't come in, I'm afraid, um, like because you're literally carrying Peter. Um, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're like, um, we're we're not going to let you in. However, um, we can bring you something so that you can wait. For, we'll have a quick look through the books. This is going to take some time. Is there anything that we can do to help you expedite your research? If you could try and find the source, that would be useful. Uh, um, certainly would. Any advice on where or who? We don't know what we're looking for. I mean, from what the guard said and what he, he said he overheard, and he kind of shoots her a look of just like, uh, <laughs> you know, like, not what I overheard, as far as told. You know, like, don't string me up like that. Um, it's just like, it sounds like this was an intended attack. So, which kind of... What's interesting, because one of our archives was hit last night as well. Hit how? With the sickness? No. Um, middle of the night, um, assaulted a couple of the watchers and took some books but we're not sure which ones because they they pulled down like the shelves and oh. we're having to take inventory of every single book to see what's missing is there any sign of where they went who they were no 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 they literally came beat up some of our people and then left um how did they attack how do you mean um, like, was it how how were the people attacked? That were they punched or were they 
did they have any wounds or did they get I mean cut? they were beaten from what I understand I don't believe any of them were like uh, you know life changingly damaged or hurt I just believe it was uh, we, at first we thought it was a robbery um, but all of the expensive tomes are still there all of our relics are still there we think at least we, we've we're still in the process of change. it's just very interesting that this all coincides yeah so regarding the checking is there maybe some worst case scenarios of what book might have been taken any potential books that would you know help a person if they wanted to cause sickness across an entire you know population was there any books on plagues or no that, that's a um, that archive didn't house that sort of where so that's not what it was about um the main archive and she kind of like gestures to the building around her she's like that's where we house those sorts of things things that are more readily you know needed mm-hmm. um that is very much more a sort of special archive for you know sensitive materials or things that aren't needed often Anyway, we're getting we're getting sidetracked. Sorry. Um. You, so, do you, you said it, it starts with sort of lethargy, develops into a cough. Um. Seems to be all we know so far. We haven't heard of any deaths, so to speak. But okay. Okay. Well. Um. There's no point you standing on our doorstep. This is going to take some time. Um. Do you know where it started? The market. I would suggest that that is where you begin your investigation. Have a look around, look for pouches, powders, um, strange odours. I I really can't tell you what to look for because we don't don't know what it is. Um, Um, Is this guy readying like a little parcel for Peter in terms of like wellness? No, they're not. They're not medicine people. These are. Uh, uh, yeah, the, the imagine like you know archival monks. Ah, uh, okay, got you. Cool. Yeah. Right, well, thank you for all the information. You've been more helpful than anyone else so far. Could we also take your name, please? Uh, oh, um, I'm I'm uh, archivist Avono. Thank you, archivist Avono. Definitely the most helpful person we've seen all day. <laughs> With obviously without the capital U, like that. Yep. Oh, well, I'm glad I was able to be of help. Um, I, I really should get into looking into this then. Um, is there somewhere that I could reach you if we have news? I mean, we're just walking around the town at the moment. Uh, if you need to leave news with someone, the scale in with Trevaskin, the owner. <laughs> yes. Hey. Okay. Um, all right. We'll uh, we'll send a runner. Um, obviously, the, this information won't be just for you. We'll obviously send it to the uh, City Watch and others. But uh, if you're helping, then obviously we'll try and get it to you as well. <laughs> Thank you. You've been very hospitable. Not a problem, dear. Um, any any information you have as well, anything that could narrow our search. There are a lot of diseases and spells and curses and other things that this could be. So any way that you could narrow that down would be muchly um, appreciated. Of course. All right. Well, I'm going to get back to the uh, searching and researching. I'll um, I send you when we have anything. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. No problem. And she shuts the door and you hear it like lock and lock and lock. <laughs> right. yeah. I mean, yeah, they've just been robbed, so no surprises. And that is where we will take a five to ten minute break, come back at quarter past. Uh, quarter past, Ooh. quarter two even. That would be a very long break. Um, okay, we'll come back at quarter two. Cool. Nice.
Chuck him. Uh, no, I'm having to chuck some food in the oven, by the way. He's allowed to run and grab it. <laughs> You're always fine. munching on cheesy boys throughout the game. Just cheesy so boy good. time. Right, so we are back, and you guys are heading away from um, the sort of like library of Athena. Yeah. Into the market. Okay, you guys make your way to the market. You know it, where it is easily enough. Um, it down once we get there. The whole time we're on the way to the market, I guess we're, I'm kind of not fully looking out for it, but trying to be a bit more aware of any sort of. Uh, Anything that could be construed as evidence, I guess. Definitely. Looking for red herring, red herrings, and not real herrings. Yeah, I don't know. Just anything that looks out of place, especially oh. like, what could have been what, packaging for disease bombs. I don't know how. <laughs> yeah, like her powers on the floor. Floor. <laughs> Just things like strewn about as if they shouldn't. Give me like, perception yeah. checks. Like I'll allow two of you to do that, so nominate before you roll, otherwise you're gonna get like four rolls. I am alright with perception. So what one of the I things I will say is that like unless you're specifically asking for something like I want to look for X or I want to look for Y and you're saying yeah I wanna do it normally when i'm like okay someone give me a con uh, somebody give me a medicine check or whatever, when I say someone, you have to be <laughs> proficient in it. E. Because otherwise, you're just some bloke off the street who's like, ah, I can do open heart surgery, it's fine! You know, so it's something you should be comfortable with, so that's fine. What, um, so you know the numbers next to it, the bonus numbers, what yeah. plus is the lowest number to count as being proficient? No, it has so a dot the next dot to it. Left. Yeah. The dot on the huh? left. Oh, so. yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Got so, it. So obviously Still Frankie proficient. has half proficiency in literally everything. Um, has he? Yeah. Yeah. So it's fine. So, yeah, yeah, do you have proficiency in perception? I don't. Okay, I'll go for it then. Cool. So between the two of you, you on the way there, um, you don't really notice anything. There's some. There was 100% some rubbish in the streets. There are things being, you know, like uh, strewn. There's food. There's odd bits of what you guessed was like some sort of uh, wrapping or whatever for prizes and stuff like that um, or presents rather not prizes um, but that's that's about it there's there's nothing else really in the streets nothing that you wouldn't expect from you know a day's worth of festival hmm. so whilst we're at the market before he gets even worse could I try to detect evil and good? Certainly can. Okay. Should I put that in the chat so yeah. people know what it does? Ten minutes. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. So as you're walking, you're getting um Especially as you, um, I say, I assume you're casting this when you're like just on the precipice of being in the market. Yeah, at the yeah. market, yeah. Okay. So as you enter the market, you know, there's the occasional good vibe that you get off things, um, which tend to be like, uh, you know, holy symbols that are being held or things like that, um, that are like on stalls that are now vacant. You know, it, it's just literally the wooden um, tabletops and struts and that's all that's there. It's a barren market. Hmm. Well, well I'll... Kraz will begin looking behind stalls, underneath things on the floor for, again, pouches, uh, leaves, anything that looks like it could be nefarious. Okay, sure. Give me an investigation check. And um, Peter, also give me an investigation check because you're using your divine. Wait. Yeah. Great. You guys don't see anything. I will say, Peter, that there is a. There's almost a. There is almost like a aura or essence of ill will generally around the market. It doesn't really seem to have like a hot spot when you're just walking around. 
it's as if there's like the best way to explain it is imagine if somebody had like you you know there's it was a radioactive area it's like you yeah. can't see it but you can just feel that something's not right okay Does anyone find anything no nope. no right. so... i'm just getting really strange vibes off this place like not good vibes something isn't right i mean yeah everyone's sick no, here in the market, there's um, something else. I will, Krasl will abandon his search on the ground and just sort of keep a sentry looking around, see if anyone's like darting or moving or anything like that. We just should... to sort of like make sure everyone else can have a search without being interrupted. Should all be slightly cautious, just in case. Yeah, Kras is fed up of crawling along the ground. He's not finding anything. Frankie, Ellie, any ideas? Um, not particularly, mate. Uh, Frankie would pull like a, a paintbrush out of his sack and cast light on it, just to hope that maybe that little bit of extra luminescence might give us a bit of an edge for, for looking for whatever Frankie's <laughs> clue is. Or like a, a big, the market, there are animals. Big empty bottle of poison by the well. That's, that's specifically what Frankie's looking for. <laughs> But Frankie's no. not very smart. Nope, you, uh, I will say, like, you can definitely investigate, but that's not going to add anything to it. <laughs> it adds panache. <laughs> Nothing Frankie loves more. <laughs> oh, well. You know anything you, you're doing? Do you, the animals seem to be affected? Do they seem strange, or are they just mooing and neighing as normal? Why don't you ask the animals? That's the thing. Yes. Can you speak to fish? You waved at that pigeon before. Do you know him? Is that is that a friend of yours? Can I guess his um, name? Um. Yeah. Is it Jeremy? <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> oh, it's Jezza the pigeon. The Maybe the can you ask Jezza if him or his pigeony friends saw anything suspicious? I'm Do you know sure what? what? I could cast my power speak power. with animals. Okay, so so are you ask... casting it, or are you ritually casting it? Uh, what's the difference? We, what does it say? I don't think it actually tells you much for ritual. Okay. Ritual. No, that's cool. Yeah, basically, if you cast it ritually, it usually takes a lot longer, but mm -hmm. you don't use up any spell slots, and you don't use up any materials to cast it. Yeah. So the typical casting time for ritual spells is about 10 minutes. Yeah, so if you can take a 10-minute sit-down, yeah. And there's no urgency, then it's usually a good idea to do it. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're just, while well, everyone's searching in the market, um, and I'm just here with some animals, I might as well ritually request some information from my pigeon friends. Yeah, go for it. Okay, so what does that involve? Um... What do you mean? What are you going to ask him? Well, okay. How are you ritually casting it? How does What does that look like? He's just asking you to throw a bit of pizzazz in there as to like what you do to spend your 10 minutes doing to make the magic. Oh, okay. Um, so I've got my eyes closed and I start making shapes with my arms like a flapping pigeon and going, cock, 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 cock and feeling the pigeon spirits around me and then I dart my head to the left and the right and then start doing an Egyptian head so um, Frankie and Peter you, you're a bit confused by this because you can hear the occasional arcane word and you can see that she is very occasionally like making an arcane sigil you're not quite sure what sorry I don't think I'd be confused by it well <laughs> I don't think extent... you're confused by anything she does no. because we're just used to the weirdness. But Frankie's definitely yeah. confused because yeah. as, as no, 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 because no. Frankie's like that's my job. Well, no, not at all. My my magic just kind of annoyingly happens because I'm it just it just is. Yeah. But you're you're doing weird. No, I mean all the impressions and noises. Yeah, I can't. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you have your ten minutes. 
<laughs> and then as soon as you you seem to come around, I'm gonna just let you know that I'm kind of disappointed. I thought it was gonna be all beautiful and like nature and like floating leaves, and you were just doing the pigeon dance. <laughs> well, I'm frowning at you, um, concentratedly as I continue my Egyptian head bob. Yeah, it's a it's a beautiful notion. Shrugging my shoulders. <laughs> so. P- Peter sort of Peter out. does know, and I, this is more just for the brevity of my law rather than that actually being a thing. Um, so Peter just kind of like looks on a bit forlornly, just being like, oh God, as you know, yeah, Lissandra's doing these like pigeon dance, this Egyptian head, none of which actually has anything to do with the like component needs of the spell, <laughs> just has completely like made it all up, just thinking it adds something. And Peter's like, literally, this could have been over like. Like five to ten minutes ago if you just you know before. yeah Peter thinks it's sexy <laughs> also the ritual movements change depending on who I'm contacting it does however I will just say that the way that it works um, so canonically the way that it works is effectively you, you would use an arcane sigil the obviously the, there'd be a separate sigil for each animal or at least each class of animal that you're trying to communicate with so a beast uh, a dragon a lizard you know like monstrosity etc um, and you then you basically you'd say some are uh, um, arcane words to go with that uh, sigil which would then empower it and then would therefore give you the ability to speak with animals it's just you've just decided to add your flourishes of a pigeon dance along with uh, Egyptian head yeah. move yeah group through magic land yeah, yeah. so and this saying, what uh, would normally be a 10 know. minute ritual takes nearly half an hour to complete but when it is done <laughs> You have seen dances that you have never seen before. Um, as, you know, Yelisandra really, you know, gets her jam on, as it were. Um, but yeah, ha- half an hour passes and you are able to ritually cast Speak With Animals. Wait, has is, is anyone watched Community? No. I've watched bits of it. Oh, there's, there's a bit where, what's it called? The good looking Where they animal. speak with pigeons. Pears and, yeah, anyway... They do like they do like a they've got like a Spanish verbal presentation they have to do, and they make it the most elaborate, unnecessary thing possible. That this goes on for ages. It's a, it's a monumental story, but it's it's still crap. That's I'm getting tired of that. <laughs> Sounds pretty good to be fair. Movements and it is so extravagant and unnecessary. And we're just like, what what are we watching here? It's, it's theatre, but also terrifying. You're just watching the two guards just standing at the corner, just being like. Can we just fucking get on with this? Like, it's, it's just this druid just doing this head bobbing and arm flapping, <laughs> you know. So, you guys, after half an hour, you're able to virtually cast speak with animals. Amazing. Cool. Yeah. Am I am I ready to go? You are indeed. I do need everyone, just before you do that, to give me a constitution saving throw, please. We do those. I never fail. See? That's a nat one. You're dead. Nah. Kraz, you uh, take one point of exhaustion, please. Okie dokes. Uh, yeah, Lissandra, I need you to make yours as well, please. Yours is also at disadvantage. Just so you know. Uh, a disadvantage. Yeah. La, 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 la. You can hold down shift, I think it is, and it gives you the disadvantage button. Oh, button. it's the control and roll, isn't it? It might be control. One of them's. Yeah. One of them gives you minus. One Hang one. Yeah, minus Ooh. constitutions. Yep. Okay. Peter, I need you to roll me a d8, please. Oh, I'm in the wrong thing. Oh, you take seven psychic damage. Peter's looking really hurt. Like he starts bending over, coughing, spluttering. Peter, you okay? You said you tell us if it gets worse. You're looking like death. Oh, uh, yeah, I kind of feel like death to be honest. Not feeling very good. Not good at all. And then what the looks up at you forlornly. I might be out of my place, but. I know that 
you helped me out yesterday. Can you help yourself? I can, I can. Just don't want you to, you know, just I know. sleep. I'll... It's, it will, we'll, we'll sort this out. Don't worry. All right. Okay. So, you concerned. Yeah, so you're not doing anything. You're just staying as you are, yeah? I, um, Nell is desperately searching through her spells. <laughs> <laughs> I um, mean, without being funny, you have cure wounds. Yeah, just give me a second. Hang on, hang on. I've, I've got a nice little, like, I did a Nell's idiot guide to a cleric where I put everything in Nell speak so I could understand what it meant. So I'm <laughs> just looking. Um, I've lost my healing spells. Oh, no. see, see, what would have been good as well is if today you'd prepared Bless, because then you could have given everyone a d4 oh, onto yes. their constitution I, I prepared proof. the detect evil and good today but to be fair bless away lost for like 10 minutes so it does um oh you what should... i didn't i you didn't know um it's bardic inspiration works on saving throws i did not know that i shall do but then again i can't does uh, can't flavor, flavor wise does that even work me trying to inspire people to not get ill i mean i would because it's magic it's not like you're not just you know giving a rousing speech you're using your magic to imbue it yeah. so you can i would say it's a bit like you know how in in a hospital visiting someone and you know telling them to stick it out and being there for the oh, yeah. patient stay while as the patients that don't get that tend to die sooner yeah, that's true, true. like I, i'm happy for that to be the yeah. sort of flavoring for it i don't mind that yeah. Willpower is definitely a biological factor. Like yeah. feeling mentally good does help your body. So sure, I'll, I'll try and sing some songs later. Uh, so what are you doing, Peter? Are you doing anything? I am gonna cast cure wounds on myself. Sounds like a good idea. <laughs> sounds like a way to not die. Oh, huge! <laughs> You're like, sounds like a good idea, and then I just heard moo. <laughs> 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 Once. <laughs> like, that was me. <laughs> ruined there you go. So you can apply nine hit points. <laughs> okay. So, Yelisandra, after a literal song and a dance, you have um, speak with animals. Who are you speaking to? Um, Josel the pigeon, who I saw earlier. He's gone. So, yeah, you've got the you've got the animals that are in front of you. What what animals what animals are there that I can choose from? Well, it sounds like there's cows, pigs, and sheep. <laughs> <laughs> and horses. Yeah, and horses. I heard. This is a market store, so there's going to be chickens. There's going to be like ducks. There's going to be you know like imagine your medieval Europe, no and you want to. <laughs> You don't generally eat pigeons when you've got cattle. Like, pigeon is something you go and yeah, hunt. Yeah, but they might just be honking about just for like, a little stroll in the market. Give me a perception check. Give me a perception check. He really wants to speak to a pigeon. If we, if we empty the crumbs out of our pockets, I'm sure some pigeons will appear in a matter of seconds. You do spot a pigeon way off in the fucking distance, but it is there. How <laughs> come? <laughs> Don't know. Okay, let's. The pigeons. Let's ask. Are... Pigeons I'm just are gonna settle and away. ask that horse that I can see. Big, shy horse. There okay. Is. Yep, there he is. I stroke his nozzle and say hi. Hey, I'm Yelly. Hi, Yelly. What's your name? Don't know. I've had you don't been... have a name? I've been called many th I, d I don't know. What is my name? This is all a bit strange. Don't worry. I shall call you Norman. Norman. Well, Norman. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Norman. Well, Norman. Yeah. Um, I have some questions for you. Oh. So... You know all the people that have been walking around in the market? They've all suddenly got quite ill. Oh, no. 
Um, did you happen to see any unusual goings on in the last 24 hours? Anything out of the ordinary that wasn't normally normally seen in a fish festival? No, I mean, my hay didn't get changed for like a day or two, but that's normal. Aww. Don't worry, if you help us out, I'll find some hay for you. Fresh hay. Cool. Maybe even a cheeky apple or two. Oh, apple. Um, have any of the animals been feeling ill at all? I feel okay. How about the rest of your friends? Have they all been acting normal, or has anyone been feeling a bit under the weather? Well, me and the others seem to be fine. I don't know about the rest. Hmm, okay. This isn't like Babe, where horses can talk to sheep and sheep can talk to pigs and whatever. Mm. Like, horses can, like, very, well, on a very... Ba- you can, but they, on a very base level, can communicate. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, you know, <laughs> like, to give you an idea... The horse yeah. has a intelligence of two. That's not a modifier. It has an intelligence of two minus four modifier. They are, you know, these are beasts of burden or creatures or what have you. They're not. They're not conversationists. This is what the horse is like. This is weird. I've never had this before. What is this? What, like, you know, they normally communicate by hungry. Ow! Screw you, man. Ooh, yeah. And that's pretty much it. For reference, knew I it? should have gone for the pigeon. I'll say for, um, for for reference, intelligence of zero means you're comatose. Yeah. Oh wow, yeah. guys, do you have any questions that I can ask Norman? Basic questions. I don't know. Did anyone sprint through here? Did anyone like? I don't know. What would a horse know? Norman the host, did you see anyone running fast in the last 24 hours or looking dangerous or what, panicked? What are hours? <laughs> what are hours? Wait, did yeah. I say hours? Maybe hours. in terms of days, oh. nights, not hours. Uh. Um, in, like, lately... <laughs> what? In the night or in the day? Yeah, night and day. In night and day, do you see human run? Go first. <laughs> no. Sorry, I, I... Do you see human attack? Yeah. Yeah, your person attack pole. What, Someone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so human attack sandbag. What or human attack sandbag. human. Sandbag. Uh, human attack both. human? Both, yes. Ah. Uh, <laughs> interesting. It's normal carnival events, to be honest. Um, what, human attack human? You could ask if. Uh, they seen anyone, you know, interact with the food that maybe shouldn't have, maybe tampering with the food. If God, how do I ask that in two intelligence? Um, Welcome to speak with animals. It's a very that's... powerful spell, but you need to know exactly what to ask. <laughs> we get what? Because at least they're fucking smart. <laughs> Who? Get a what? Sorry. Well. Do- I think he said ocelot. I don't know. Octopus. Yeah, I say. Oh, I think he said octopus. Yeah, because there's definitely an octopus in the market. Well, there probably is, just not a very l- alive one. Yeah, but it'll be a dead one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. Right. So we know the disease. Um, then. Well, the animals seem fine. It tends to. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it solves. It. But um, normally, I'd say a human was attacking some a human. Oh. Oops. Okay. Uh, Norman, big human, small human. Yes. 
How big was the human? Calf. Up to your calf. Alright. No. My brain hurt. One one force unit of size. Yeah. Pardon? <laughs> Baby horse. Oh, a foal. It was the size of a baby horse. Yeah. Oh, that's creepy. Okay, Norman, I think you've had enough questions, but um, Frankie, could you see if there's any fresh hay about for Norman? Because he's answered all our questions. I would say if you want to ask another creature, you're going to have to ask them rapid, because I think how long does Speak with Animals last? Uh, so say next to duration. Ten minutes. Um. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah, ten minutes. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Norman. Hi. You did good. Hi. You said hi. <laughs> Frankie. <laughs> Hello. Please, can you find some hay for Norman while I quickly speak to this what? sheep? Uh, <laughs> um, shit. Funny oh, man, oh. get you hay. What, what, why, why am I now in charge of collecting hay for the. Because I need to quickly use my last couple of minutes wisely. Oh, and Norman will get angry. You did say you were a farmer. Yeah, exactly. That's why I asked you. Yeah, I came from a chicken farm and we had fruit trees. Just find me some hay, please. If you, have, if you have hay seeds in four months of time, sure, I can get the horse some hay. But There's some fresh bales of hay over there, but Norman can't get to them. You just have to take it and bring it over. Give me give me a perception check to see if there is any fresh hay nearby. Who, me? No, oh. Frankie, you've asked him to look for it. Okay. Excellent. We're going on a hay hunt. <laughs> you, you cannot see hay any fresh hay. You cannot Someone see it. How about some apples? Are you talking to this like you've got ten minutes? Bearing in mind, every time you have a conversation, you're eating into your time. So what are you doing? Are you continuing to try and find <laughs> Norman I'll some food? I'll conversation here and get Norman some food. Okay. Uh, don't, don't, don't worry. I'll, I'll sort Norman out. You talk to animal number two. If you want to, if you're going to want to use speak with animals again, you're going to have to ritually cast it because you've easily, with the talk with Norman, with the back and forth with the group, and then with the conversation with Frankie, you've easily gone over ten minutes. Can I okay. have a look at all the stools and see if any of them seem to have been tampered with, like just like robbed or is there anything been left open or anything like that? Sure, give me an investigation check. It's really good at those. Hey, it is. Um, they actually all seem like they're wrapped up for you know a night. Like if you know how you see market stalls like uh, by yeah. uh, Angel and Ainsonton, you know like that. It was just like yeah. they're just left out in the open, no oh, money, no. no foods, no nothing. Yep, they've all been wrapped up. Um, so if there was any sort of, uh, you no, know, if there had been a theft, you probably wouldn't be that much evidence of it. Okay. You do, however, with that roll, do find two silver. What, on one of the stools? Just in the mud, like, as you're walking oh, around, checking mud. up. Because you're looking nope. at the stools, trying to check all around them for marks and stuff, and you see two, two, two silver in the mud. Um, I'll pick them up. Sure. Mud silver is free silver. Um, so wait, speaking of this being mud, I presume nobody's really gotten... Uh, that's not going to work. I presume there's, like, footprints everywhere. Yeah. There is. There's yeah. tracks of just passive, like you can see there's cart tracks, there's hoofs, there's god knows what. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It is on cobbled stone as well. It's just a case of that there's been so much hay brought over here and so many animal droppings and everything that over the years it's literally just built into like the market has a bit of mud in it. Okay. Um Hmm. Does anyone know anything? I mean, this seems like a kind of, like, I don't know, I don't know much about magic, but to me this seems like a poison. Like, so, like, 
everyone's been sickened by the same thing. Does anyone know anything about? Um, I think now that my ritual's finished, I'm gonna um, cast detect poison and disease on Peter, as he is deeper into the curse than I am. Okay, so uh, so sorry, put in put in chat what you're doing. Yeah, display in VTT. Oh, cool. Oh, huh. nice. There we go. If only you'd done that earlier on. Um, I'm not going to lie, I didn't know I had that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like literally, like instantly, you could have just been like, oh, you're looking a bit ill. Detect. Oh, wow, that's what you've got. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was so close to taking that as well. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time I was like, fuck, <laughs> I was like, no, we won't need that. <laughs> I mean, be bearing in mind, and this is like something in game that I presume you might not both know about. You prepare your ri your spells in the morning and that, you could literally communicate about what you're going to take. Yeah, you two do. Oh. Like, you two, because mm. like, you know each other. You can be like in the morning like... Okay, well, why don't we like widen our births? So you take this, yeah. this, I'll take this, this. Yeah, and I'd allow that anyway because you guys are working as a group. So yeah. if you're going to be magic, you know, and you have to prepare your spells, there's no point, you know, all three mm -hmm. of you to take detect poison. It's like that's no use. But if yeah. you were saying going up against as we did on Monday, like a basilisk or something, it's like, hey, all of us having greater restoration would probably be really fucking useful, you know. Yeah. And it's it's that sort of thing. I have no problem with that because that's what people do you know you're going out in the morning you make sure everyone's got their sandwiches and their drinks so yep. you you cast detect poison and disease and you find that this is called the curse of book a short hmm? book of shorts even <laughs> ba -ba -bam. Bam. Bam -bam -bam. the curse of book short okay Guys, this is the curse of Bookershaw. <laughs> you what? Wait. Um, All I have. How? As, how what? Can you tell who's got it? Like, of, can you see that? Have you got it as well? Is that why you're feeling a bit? I have the beginning of the curse, and um, Peter is a lot deeper into this curse. What about? How do you know that we're cursed? Because I detected it. How? Oh. How? With my detect poison magic. Ah, oh. okay, that makes more sense. So Sorry, for well, me, you no, no, turned around. You said, yeah, yeah, exactly. Like we've got to remember is there's the meta of the game. And then there's what you're doing in the game. So, like, for instance, one of the things we talked about is that you've got um, a material component on that. So um, a good way to do it is you say, yeah, the sign just sits down or stands up and you see her take out a yew leaf. Oh, okay. And she crushes it up. She makes, she says some arcane mutterings. She says some, um, she then throws the yew leaf, you know, like crushed up into the sky, makes an arcane sigil, her eyes glow and she casts detect poison and disease yeah. if you say that like everyone knows what's going on around you they have uh, like a way of seeing okay. it and also it makes you more aware that you're using your materials because like yeah. where are you going to find a yew leaf from consumer. now yeah Two for that doesn't consume it. Um, it doesn't, i've got a still. whole I've, they're in my herbalism pack no it I've doesn't got. as as um what you call it as uh, tom just said it doesn't consume it it's only normally stuff that has a gold price to it that it consumes yeah. But for instance, so, if you were to learn a new spell when you guys level up and you get access to new spells, you would need to find mm. those new components. Yeah. So, okay. Okay, Kraz, let me answer your question. Here is my yew leaf, and I take it out of my bum bag, and I crush it up into a thousand pieces, even though it will go back together again, and I can reuse it afterwards. <laughs> and then I throw it into the air and cast a sigil and go, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, yay, yay, poison and disease. Yeah. Um, so it's curse of Bookershaw. Bookershaw, you don't pronounce the T. Bookershaw. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, what, what does it do? Are we gonna die? 
Hi, yo, yo, yo. You don't know. Hi, yo, yo, yo. You don't I'm know. I'm not sure. All it, like, I'm you, not sure. I only know that it's a curse. Yeah, if you look at it, you also know they identify the poison, the poisonous creature or disease in each case. That's all it allows you to do is to identify what it is. So it's like a magical curse then, rather than a or a magical disease curse, rather than like poison, like chemical poisoning. So, so do we know? That? So Yelisandre, you know this is a disease, but this is the name of the disease, if that makes sense. This is the disease, but this is the name of the disease, if that makes sense. <laughs> Got you. That does make sense. Thank you. All right. Well, we should get back to the Athenians then. They've got books galore. I'm sure they have something on this. Rather than wait here any longer. And... Yeah. So now at least we have um, a name to ask the scholars, see if they know what the curse of Bukashar is. They might have found something while we were investigating here anyway. Yeah. All right. Well, let's run back then and not waste any more time. I will Just pick up Peyton. <laughs> can you get? Can you give me an athletics check, please? Yeah, but disadvantage. Yep. Nah, but he, would raging give him an advantage in this case? You're gonna rage? Are you gonna rage? Yeah. Okay. So. As you're like about to go and pick up Peter, you just go, Hurrah! and then pick him up. Yeah. Absolutely. This will make it a straight roll because. Straight roll. Yeah. yeah. Hi, I'm back. What oh happened? Christ! Real worth using. <laughs> yeah. You, you, you're not a. F, you're having to take stops more regularly than you'd expect. Like you right. still every like 10, 15 minutes, you're having to stop. You know, catch your breath, go yeah. again, and I do need with the amount of time you guys have taken etc etc i do need everyone oh. to give me a constitution saving throw please of course you do. never fails Ooh. okay frankie oh, I need damn. You... i'm doing a constitution saving throw at disadvantage roll and roll l yours should have been at disadvantage by the way oh should mine have been as well uh yes Shit. Okay, and okay. Alessandra, I need you to roll me a D eight please and put yourself to level two. Oh damn. God, I'm damn still right for the moment. Yep. Cool. Okay, level two. Oh shit. Okay. Level two. Yeah, and you take two damage. Yep. I take what do I take two off of my um, You do indeed. Mm-hmm. Peter. Oh. <laughs> you don't need to roll a d8. You, oh you're God. kind of able to hold it, and she loses a point of exhaustion. Regains. Nope. She is as she is <laughs> at the moment. No. What shot? Almost. Mm. Pretty convinced. Dirt. So you guys managed to make your way to the back. Yelisandra's yeah, looking a bit worse for wear. Um, as is Kraz. Nah, I'm alright. He's faking it. Peter is clinging on to the big beast of crowds for dear life as he <laughs> rages and runs with it. Okay, so as you guys do manage to eventually get back there and, you know, get it all working, uh, get it all working, get, get up to the Athenians again, the guards knock at the door, they keep you more at a distance this time, um, especially as you're, some of you are now starting to look ill, um, they knock on the door, you know, silly business, opens up, oh, hi, you're back. Yelly, go. Hi, um, wait, wait, hi, uh, Archivist Avenue. Hello. <laughs> Lovely to see you again. And I have detected that this disease is called the curse of Bukasha. Um Have you heard of this before? And if not, could you please look in your archives? It's a very old disease. Um... That seems to have been yesterday. Okay. Um... Right, well, there's the, um, yes, uh, it's a bit of a trick, though, um, 
I mean, if you okay. if you guys are and you got a lot of looks, seeing that some of you are looking a bit worse for wear, it's just like or not. Um, if you're up for it, we basically just need you to go out into the pastures, uh, into the nearby forest, and it really is just fresh fruit and rest. So we just need you to go oh, and collect yeah. up as much, but it has to be that day picked fresh. It, ah. it, it can't it can't be a in more more than a day old if it's anything that wasn't picked that day it doesn't go i don't know why it's a very old disease very very strange again it happened yesterday it's not that old no this is a disease that hasn't been seen in a long time do you know what causes it i i know what the uh legends are let's say um but no it'd be interesting to find out who got their hand on it and hmm. um well anyway, on we that who got their hand on what we should probably the, uh, write out. the potentially uh, stolen book was there any of them that maybe could have referenced this curse is that, is I, that don't I don't know we've kind of been on? busier trying to find out what this is than recover a find out what book was taken Okay, well, now that we know, maybe it'd be a good thing for you guys to keep yourself busy on while we go berry picking. Oh, I was going to um, say, are you okay? You was about to say you got your ha who got their hands on what? The disease. Uh, yeah, the disease. It means to spread it. Um, do, so whilst we're out collecting, I presume you can alert the town as to what we found out. Do you have a sack lying around that we can gather things in? Um, Le sac magique. Yes. Um, Sack of berry. Hey, hang on, hang on. And she kind of like dies back in, closes the door. You hear one of the locks go across, and then a couple of moments later, comes back out, un unlocks, and goes. Um, it's a small pouch, but it, it will suffice for your needs, and gives you a small pouch. Cool. Let's go. Wait, which direction? Uh, just, just, just head to a forest and try and gather some fruits. That's all you really need. All right. Oh, let's I go. do like a forest. Go, two, the, as you as you like leaving the two city guards go. There's a well known massive like apple tree, or, and there's an yeah. Well, it's it's a weird tree. It does apples and pears. It, it's kind of known as the fruit bearer for that very reason. Uh, good. Yeah, it's not too far from here. So come on, run, and I will attempt to pick up Peter again. Yeah, okay, give me an athletics check. Disadvantage because that rage is not lasting. Nope. Better than last time. Still managed to just sweep Peter off his feet. You know. Filled up. Fire is left. Let's go. Yep. <laughs> okay, so you guys so managed to carry capacity of 270 pounds. Just as well. Yeah. So, uh. Da -da -da -da. So you guys managed to, you know, clear the city, start um, getting out, back out into the sort of like more wilderness. Um, just make sure everything is good. So um, as you're kind of like heading back out there and going through, you are being led with two uh, towns guard, um, and you are following a old like, you know, just normal path seems to have a couple of stones occasionally maybe it was paved once you're not too sure oh do we see the tree uh you're just still walking at the moment <laughs> you can't move particularly fast because obviously yeah, I'm carrying a person yeah which would... the sec <laughs> yeah Oh, I do like being in nature, do it though I do feel rather shite right now. <laughs> so poetic. Accurate description. Okay, so yeah. I'll move you on to the <gasps> a new map. Ooh. Dun 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 dun. Brand new map. I was gonna say any time the map is not the path, I'm happy. I literally made this like 20 minutes before yeah. we started. That's good. 
I mean, it's too convenient to not have an encounter. It's yeah. a tree. <laughs> he made Kyle this... an initiative coming I in. see. No, 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 no. Quick, let's all approach the tree. So, <laughs> you, as as you approach, the guards are just like, "What the fuck? What?" And they um, they rush towards what you guys see is this big dead tree. Oh, sh no apples yeah. there. I'm really hoping this isn't the tree you were talking about. <clears throat> this has been around for centuries, like, it's the fruit bearer. Um, Yelly, do you want to take a look? Maybe you have a, the best idea about if the tree's been tampered with, or it's just died, or... If it's been diseased. Hmm, let me have a look. As I point to the branch with my AT finger. <laughs> what are you trying to do? Interesting. So I'm trying to see... Um... Wait, what did you say, Frankie? <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently the trees died. If anyone knows why, between the six of us, I'm assuming it might be you. So maybe just have a look and see if you can see why the trees died or how it's died. Okay. Give me a nature check. I believe. With disadvantage. <laughs> disadvantage. To roll on the lawn. After a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. We're exhausted. Because you're exhausted. Oh, you know, yeah, of course. We do everything kind of shit. <laughs> Natural 20 to a 9. Gotta love it. <laughs> no, we don't. Opposite of it. Mm -hmm. So, um, this looks like a tree that was poisoned. Like, mm. the grass all around it is yellowed, its, it's leaves have all faulted off. This isn't something that's been burned or anything like that. Like, this has been a targeted attack on this tree. Maybe it needs some fresh fruit and rest. What are you guys doing? Um, looking for footprints or markings of someone who has tampered with said tree. Okay, give me an investigation. Specifically here. I say, give me an investigation check. I mean, there are two ge geezers there that oh, we could ask. Disadvantage. There we go. Even more normal. You're not Ooh. able to see anything um, that would put you on the right track, as it were. There's nothing there that would scream out. Yep. People have been Just here. A dead tree. Yep. Shit. It's like Kraz is also looking, but if anyone else wants to roll, please roll now. For what? Sorry, what? No. Alright, that's fine. I'm just looking for tracks and stuff with his amazing investigation. Ten. Huge. Um, you. A... Yeah, you don't notice. That's all the investigation rolls I'm going to allow because that's two people who've looked now. Um, yeah, Can I do um, a ritual detects poison and disease on the tree? Certainly can. <laughs> I need everyone to give me a constitution saving throw, please, because you've now been walking for oh, a good dying. hour or two. Is that disadvantage as well, or not? It is, yeah. yeah. Mine is. It is. Everyone's is. is. Oh, yeah. we're going down, boys. D8 and exhaustion. Oh, mine was quite good, even though I had a control and roll. So, Kraz, you're level 2, and you yep. need to give me 2d8s, yeah. please. 2d8? Oh. Got that one, mate. Maybe. Sorry. Yeah, I know. Second one on these rolls. Oh, crit poison. Oof. Nine damage. You take nine right. psychic damage. Peter. I need you to give me another level of exhaustion, please. Oh. And a D8. A oh, God. That's a rough one. Heck. Do any other trees around here have fruit? Give me, a, curiosity. give me a perception check. Cool. So the Athenians seem to say any fruit. Well, I mean, I don't need to roll again. 
<laughs> Rolling real well. Nope, you you literally can't see the wood for the trees. You I'm nope. Head from the trees. Yep. I'm waiting for fruit to fall. And I need everyone to roll initiative. Yeah, boy. At disadvantage. Oh, yep, at disadvantage. Uh, uh, initiative what? at disadvantage. Oh, come on. What? Control <laughs> and roll. What? Yeah, L, can you please use the shift or control key because it comes up twice when you don't. Oh my god. That's three nat ones in the space of like two minutes. Uh, Frank, oh, yours was already rolled. Wasn't... Yours is already rolled, yeah, it says. I, I hadn't clicked my token, so... Oh, okay, fine. Yeah, the same. Yeah. I'm going to re-roll but change it to my first one, which was 11. Yeah. That's, That's cool. I'm going to delete. I always forget to click token. Uh, yours needs to be um sixteen. No. No. Um. No L. Sorry, I'm trying to do this no control worries. thing, but it, it doesn't. No, just just just. Something else. Don't worry about All right. it. For now. You, you can keep those rolls for this one. So just click on the left on yours. Oh, you've changed now. Go. Cool. I think that's. So, yeah. Kras, you're there so, twice. So what are you? I'm a three. Yeah. I'm a three. I only rolled once. Cool. So, yeah. Don't forget your exhaustion levels and what that means for the fight. Yep. Has everyone paid attention uh -oh. to what that is? Maybe. Half speed. Wait. Um, did I take another point of exhaustion or not? Sorry, ignore that. That was just. Uh, uh you did not. No, you just not Your nat twenty earlier on saved you, because that mm. reversed a point of exhaustion. Big. Sorry, I'm just reading what the levels are. And I'm doing it on L sheet, so ignore those. So. L, if you notice, you're going to have to roll with disadvantage on attack rolls. Your speed is halved. On saving throws and ability checks, you now also have disadvantage. Okay. For reference, though, if you want, you can click on Beyond 20. And then where it says um, type of roll, just change that to roll with disadvantage. Ah, uh, okay. And then that will sort you for now. You can change it back after. Oh, amazing. Thank you. No worries. So, Yalisandra. Yeah, you, I believe, are at level two. Yep. So you, your speed is halved, and you have disadvantage on ability checks. Mm -hmm. Kraz, you're the same. Yep, yep. And then, um, Frankie, you're still just on level one, so you only have disadvantage on ability checks. Nice. That means I can run away and leave you all to die. Yep. Yeah, until you die to this. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Uh, you guys are lucky that you ha managed to get some guards. Yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> some healthy guards. Indeed. <laughs> well, for the moment, I mean, you guys are hanging around them a lot. Um, right, okay. So, Frankie, you are top of the round. Let me, first of all, let's get this music off being really peaceful and make this a bit more Sounds atmospheric. blood and death. Oh, there we go. Right, Frankie, no, you're up. Use... Indeed, Pirates Frankie. Of the Caribbean. Nope, uh, Frankie, you're up. What are you doing? I'm gonna wait. Oh, <laughs> fucking muscle man's pissed off over there. How far away are you? Use the thing. It's the fourth tool down. I oh, am yeah. forty-five feet. You idiot. <laughs> Um, shit, that changed what I was going to do. Right, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go how far's 30. Okay, I'll run. I run to here. Yep. Uh, and on my way, I just shout out. Uh, what? Wait, what are the things that we see? What can, I, what can we see in the trees and bushes? So far, we don't, I no. think. Uh, all you guys hear is just like, get him! And then that's basically oh. where you're at. Oh, so I can't, I can't even accurately mock them how you could definitely uh, do it in their direction i would say that much uh sure it's either that or i give them a surprise round because they technically did ambush you so the choice is yours yeah, yeah. uh yeah as, as i as i run over to behind the tree towards Brazil's direction i'm just going to shout in the general direction uh leave us alone you tree killing bastards and that's an attempt of vicious mockery. So, if can they wisdom save or take two mighty damage? Minus fifty damage. 
Wait, how do I get the? Oh, it's this one I'm trying to do. Yeah. yeah. So you've done awesome. it already. It shows you that like vicious mockery, yeah. wisdom fourteen. They failed. No, so... I, was, I was trying to get the the, the blurb. Ah, right. Yeah, yeah. They have if they, yeah, they have disadvantage on the next attack roll. So what well, I assume was the closest guy because that was the area I was aiming at. Yep. No, that's fine. Or so... if you want a random one in four, it that's. Works. No, that's fine. Nearest one to you works. Cool. Um, and then I end my turn hiding behind a tree. Okay, so he takes two points of damage as well, right? Yep, two mighty psychic damage. Okay, did you see this ah! from the one of the uh, one of the bushes? That is Frankie's turn. Peter, you're up. What are you doing? Uh, 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 I am going to. Oh my god, there we uh, oh, Can I hide behind the bush? Yep. And for now, I'm just going to cantrip to all the dead. On this one, mm. has you seen. can't see them yet. So oh. I've put I've put them on there so that so you know what, there we go. Yeah, we know there's angry things this way. Yeah. In that case, that's all I'm gonna do. Okay, look. You can you can hold an action or what are you doing? You can use your action to like um, fully hide if you'd like. There's yeah, I'll, if I can hold it. The, if I hold to hold the dead on the one that was closest to Yellow Sandra, I think that's the closest one to one of us. Okay, so no, so bear in mind you don't know this. You're gonna hold your the way it would be was you're holding your action until you see an enemy, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. That you can do. So that uses your reaction, okay, okay and your action. So just bear that in mind, okay? okay? Right, not a problem. Right, it is now the town's card. So they're just gonna be come. They're just gonna go. Come out here, you bastards! 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And he's going to move right up next to him. It's like, come on in! Let's get him! Let's go! And they're going to hold their action if somebody gets in range. Yeah, Alessandra, you're up. What are you doing? Dun, 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 dun. I am going to... Uh, I'm going to do an... Ice knife at this geezer. They are, they friends. are friends. Oh. Hence the, the big green the circles face. around them. So, oh, sorry. all we know is there are enemies hiding. I was reading through my spells, that's why I didn't see that bit. Yeah, so there are enemies over here somewhere that we cannot see yet. Whereabouts? What, in the trees? Yeah, behind the trees and the rocks. We just don't know where yet. Um. What are you doing? I am going to uh, shoot a short bow in that general direction. <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, you can't have dub a double disadvantage, so, you know, just shoot at a disadvantage, see if you can hit it in the rough direction. Disadvantage and plop. Does hit. Big. Okay. What else should you do? Anything else? Um, not yet. Okay, I'm still right. trying to figure out how to. Work. All right, yeah, that's your turn. Not a problem. Okay, it is now their turn. So, ten. I'm just gonna move there. There, it's there. Thirty, you can just get there. Let's reveal them to you so that you know what's going on. Oh hello. So as as the other Sandra fires her bolt, you just see one of them go <laughs> and slump out of a tree oh. dead over here. It was the yeah. same one that um Frankie had managed to hit. These two are now going to attack those two guards, so... Oh no! And... One of those hits, the other one they're able to fend off with their shield, you hear... It just kind of ricochets off. The other guy does take a good chunk of his health off. 
Okay, uh, and the other one's going to go for you, Kraz. Yep, yep. And, as I'm going to guess, that misses. Okay, so that's their turn. And they're just. That's what they're going to do. Kraz, you're up. Cool. I will rage. Because I am angry. Okay. Uh, I'll take it off. And I will swing around this side of him. And I will attack him recklessly. Okay. With my great axe. So that'd be a standard roll, right? No, nope, you're not. You're not at disadvantage, are you? No. So just a. Uh... I just have to use all my movement to get to this side. Yep. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Twenty-nine he... damage. You just watch as Cryo's kind of like very slowly for him runs around the side, but then it's almost like he's not expecting because he's so slow. Just incredibly swiftly, just and just dissects a guy straight in half through the midriff. Mate. And then I will turn and look angrily at them. Okay. A... I'm going to stone my great axe and hold a javelin. Okie doke. Frankie, you're up. You've just watched Kraz, you know, like, eviscerate one. You've seen you've seen Yalisandra drop another, and these other two city guards are now fighting off the, the last <clears throat> remaining two. Should have been two extra damage for the rage. Um, I mean... if there's only two of them, that kind of changes what I might do. Eh, sod it. I wouldn't think, I wouldn't trust there's only two. Uh, I'd, I'd run forward to Kraz. Uh, oh. and Frankie, uh, blown away by the sheer might and power of the dominating Kraz, will cast heroism on him. Oh, wrong one. Heroism on him. So Frankie pulls out his uh, little little uh, guitar, starts strumming away, plays a lovely little melody, and you are enchanted with the power to be a little bit more invigorated, I guess. What does right. the song sound like? It's just temporary hit points, and you can't be all ten. Cool. So, Got a month. Uh, I believe that is all. Yep, yeah, that's me done. Okay. Frankie, uh, sorry, Peter even, you did have a spell readied. I did. So do you want to do that now and then we can do your turn at the same time? Oh, if you guys do do that, by the way, if you hold your action, remind me, like, I've got a lot that I'm doing. So, like, for instance, I'm going to do the guards held action in a moment to see what they did as well. But... Uh-oh. So... So cast the spell that you were casting, yeah. Um, have they been hit, those two? They haven't, have they? They haven't, as far yeah. as you're aware. Okay, so wisdom saving throw. Fail. Does, ah. takes five necrotic yeah. damage. You'd see one of them just goes, ah, oh, grabbing his head. Some scary horror film sounding church bells in their ears. <laughs> Yep, it is now your turn, so that was your reaction that you released, like, as they approached. Yeah. What else are you doing? So now, um, you've now full turn. Uh, I'd like to do that again, please. Okay. <laughs> At least attempt to. I believe. Okay, same person, I'm assuming, as you know it's been damaged. D yeah. Nice, take six. That is enough. And you just watch as you just, he just goes, ah! Ah! as he just falls to the like ground, clutching his head, and is no more. Die. Which does make the guards turn a little bit easier. I should have done this on their turn. But is there anything else you want to do? You want to move? Uh, no, I'm good, thank you. Okay, right. So on their turn, as they approach, they're both going to uh, attack with their spears. Uh, the first one does hit. Solid damage. It's now their turn. They're going to do exactly the same again. <coughs> does they hit. To uh, no, they're just straight up yep. going for it. Um, and those two, Seven. that is just not enough. Use up. Okay, you're Lissandra. It is now your turn. What are you doing? I am going to cast the country Frostbite at the remaining gaze. Okay, do you want to put that in the channel and then cast it? <laughs> oh, 
on site. Oh, sorry, I didn't display it. That's all right. Okay, so 14 con. PC. Definitely doesn't save, takes the full frostbite. You just watch, just, you just, just get stabbed twice, he goes, ah! And as you do, you just fire the frostbolt, go straight into one of the, like, wounds that's opened from one of the city guards, and you watch as just the ice comes out of his mouth and eyes and just crushes down onto the floor with a crunch. And yeah. we are out of combat. Do they have any fruit on them? Yeah. <laughs> it was a fruit. Okay, you guys can make an investigation check. As I said, two people can make investigation checks. So, who are doing it? Uh, I'm proficient, I think. Okay. Don't... Is anyone else proficient? Not me. Oh, I... I've forgotten disadvantage. <laughs> I was going to say, Kraz isn't really investigating as, as much as he is like holding them by their ankles and shaking until things drop out of pockets that's fair <laughs> um yeah you find you find like in total on the four of them because there is a fourth one like you know dead <laughs> under here um you are true. able to you are able to find like uh, about eight copper pieces and two silver out over all of them these are not wealthy people uh there's their scimitars that they've been um holding are not particularly in good condition um, their armor even worse so these are not you know it's not what it's Rich not what they're about is. yeah uh, I'm, rogues. <clears throat> I'm gonna go back to looking for fruit on any of the trees yeah there's got to be some more fruit around here sorry just bear me two seconds no problem um, while these guys are searching for fruit, Frankie will, um, now that the heat of the moment subsided, he realises that in joining Kraz in battle, he's landed himself next to the splattered remains of a, what was once the beautiful creature of the world, and uh, Frankie is once again quite put off by this. A bit recluse, just going to sit down on one of the dying tree-like branches and start twiddling away on his uh, instrument, but a bit more erratic the usual, not particularly rhythmical, just a bit all over the place. Don't give me a performance check with disadvantage. <laughs> oh, wait, well, I'll give you that, yeah, one sec. Uh, how well can you sadly fiddle? Look how good I am at being fucking blues player. <laughs> yeah, it's still, it's still, do you know what? It's as bad as his technique, it's still not bad. Still not bad. The city guard then yeah. immediately turned to you and is like, Right, now let's let them do it. Come on then, let's get some fruit. Yep. Yeah, the tree's dead. And I will look for fruit on trees. So they just other kind trees. of then like just point toward the other trees. And yeah. these are apple trees. Uh, and these are pear trees. I was searching in the dirt, that's my fault. Yeah. <laughs> so they're going to they're gonna start picking fruit. Um, each one of you, if you can roll me a d20, please. And I'll roll two for the guard. Damn, of course, Yelisandra is the apple queen. <laughs> well, actually, um, Elle got a nat 20. Oh, did she? Oh, I didn't even see that. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I was really... I was going to say. <laughs> it's like, everyone's going, woo! And I'm like, uh, there's literally a natural 20 there. Okay, so that's that's obviously, I will double that for these purposes. So that is uh, 15. That's a lot of apples. 63, 68. Well, the biggest guy here is like, for struggling to get apples. <laughs> That's a hundred, unless I've miscalculated with the like Nat 20 doubled. Arm full of rocks. So, yeah, as, as you're putting it, one of the things you notice though, Kraz, is as you're putting thing, putting these apples and these pears into this satchel, they're just going in. Doesn't seem to get heavier, doesn't seem to fill up, just plop, 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 plop. Cool, I'm saving like my five back then. Yeah, how many have gone in that bag now? I was gonna say we're a lot, enough here. a lot. It doesn't matter. But you guys know there's a time on this limit. So are you gonna rush back? I mean, yeah, we're gonna rush back. Yeah, because they need okay. to be fresh, don't they? I need everyone to give me a Constitution saving throw, please. Oh. Come on. 
I'm munching the apple as I go. Okay. Yeah, I you can do that apple, after that. your constitution saving throw. Yeah. Control and roll. Oh, huge. Oh, the disadvantage. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Frankie, <laughs> you are now on your second level. Heck. Cross is all good, I hope. Pass the apples, bro. Yep, that's it. Um, and I need Peter. Peter to roll a d8, please. And Frankie, yeah, actually, yeah. as well. Frankie, as well. Enjoy um, this number one. Big lever. Fuck. Okay. It could have been worse. So, I would then say, you guys, after, like, be like, oh, 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 yeah, we just picked a fuckload of fruit. Like, you know... <laughs> Do go into it, you do start eating uh, the fruit, and I will say over the next hour, mm -hmm. everyone could knock good. off one point of exhaustion. Huge. Should we just do that now? Yeah, uh, everyone can I do take, that. I take four damage, right? You do, you do take, you do, so Peter still takes the three damage, Frankie still takes the four damage, but everyone can drop one level of exhaustion. I'm back to Ooh. level one. Back cool. carrying Peter. <laughs> So you guys managed to kind of get back, um, you know, you go, I'm assuming go straight to the health clinic? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. It was first, the, um, the clinic or the Athenians, I would presume, right? So we could at least t stop to say, hey, we got them. Oh. Yeah, no? Frankie's stupid, so on the way from leaving this place, I realised we probably should have identified the people we murdered. Nah. It's too late, you've gone. You're yeah. you're an hour or two down the road now. Let's take the okay. So you guys um I'll give it a turn order, I shouldn't that impact. Did oh. I just hear a gentle strum? You did. <laughs> so you guys um arrive back at Fort Takai and you um you know, what are you doing? Who are you going to, who are you speaking to, what are you doing? Which is closest, the Athenians? Library or the clinic? Depends which entrance you choose. You know, you go, you know. I mean, wherever's closest to the one we left out of. As in, like, you guys can choose to go, like, there's like three entrances, and obviously it's a shorter walk on the outside to, you know, get, if that makes sense. Yeah. But, like, you know, how you can get to different points in London by. Yeah. 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 Surely we take the apple sack back to the people who gave us the apple sack. I feel like it'd be. Rude. Yeah. I know it's a crisis and man's not the most important thing. But to use the apple sack on people that haven't donated the apple sack feels BM. Yeah. If that makes sense. That, that that's my only thinking anyway. Yeah, so, sure. So you going yeah. you guys are going to the Athenians, yeah? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. So it takes you a little while. You do manage to obviously get there, um, without too much trouble, especially with the city guard helping you navigate the streets. And uh -huh. After, you know, another hour or so, you guys do arrive, the Athenians open the door, they're like, oh, uh, thank you, thank you very much, um, would you mind now taking it to the clinic? Um, we've already, yeah, of course. we're okay, People but um, yeah, just just bring it back once the sack's empty. Uh, if you just pull it inside out, don't do it now, if you just, you know, like, uh, push the outside in, uh, all of the contents will fall out. Okay, dogs. Or just think whatever fruit it is and you can produce it so yeah ah. okay Mate, um right, if you could go. yeah hop, 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 hop. let's go so what's the medical center that you're going to it is Wait, the Wait, is, that, is that the one we're going to yeah yeah the way the original one yeah yeah i'll just put my notes Okay, so as you arrive there, um, you're um, you're greeted again. You know, as you rap on the door, like, hello. Uh, sorry, like you actually, I don't have time if you we can't physically help. Have found a cure. Oh, perfect. I mean, fresh fruit and rest. Do Do you know what it is? Fresh, fresh, fresh fruit and rest. Okay, but do you know what the disease is? Oh. Uh, some long thing, Yelly. A curse of Bukashar. Right, that is quite old. Okay, 
Um, well, thank you. Um, do you hand her the sack? What do you do? Uh, Kraz will just pull it inside out. <laughs> Apples <laughs> everywhere! So just... <laughs> as they just all, nearly hundred of them, just, <laughs> like, empty out onto the floor. She's like, oh, oh, okay, um, thanks, um... And you just hear her kind of like call over a couple of people's names they're not quite able to catch and they just quickly start like they literally use their like um dresses and things to like try and you know bring them all back up and run back inside he's not the smartest but Kraz is effective yeah yeah well yeah because the the, the thing is wanted the bag back right so we can't give them the bag yeah exactly we can just have all the people who are in the clinic come out one by one and take an apple as they go yeah. Easy. Okay, so the city yeah. guard then turned to you and go, um, do you need us for anything else? Dude, is there anyone sick back at the fort? There's a fair few, but to be fair, we've got our own supplies. Uh, uh, well, our research indicates that it has to be fruit freshly picked today. If you've got your own berry bushes, that's one thing, but maybe take a Yeah, we're, we're, we're a fort so we're kind of yeah. like designed right. to be okay in a siege awesome cool well then just let uh let the captain know that captain we know. seem to have found a solution we'll do um uh, is there like a collective name a that we can go by heck the 90 mine wait what <laughs> I, uh, I tell you what we'll I'm. He's like. I'm sure there'll be some sort of reward. He says, like begrudgingly. You know, eyes rolled. Uh, <laughs> and he's like, he's like, you're sailing at the Scaly Inn, yeah? Yep, yep. You sure are. All right. We'll come and see Travoskin, and uh, we'll grab you when the it, when it's produced or whatever. All right. Yep. Thanks Probably. again for your help, by the way, lads. I know. Um... Will you be there later when it's brought to us? Um, they kind of like look at one of their compatriots who does have quite a decent stab wound in him, and he's like, um... <laughs> ah, ah, I did not notice that. Right, yeah, they... I am going to give them both a gold piece and say thank you. I know you don't get paid enough for that. <laughs> His other mate kind of looks like, oh fucking hell, all right. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, oh, cheers, buddy. Thank you. That that's appreciated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, anyway, we'll be. We'll, we'll make sure, you know, you're the heroes and everything. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll let the captain know, all right? Of course, That'd but I think at least I can speak for myself and I hope the others were not looking to be heroes. We just helped out because we weren't feeling as bad. Cool. Right? Exactly. All right. All right, bye then. And they just, they just start, like, walking <laughs> off now. So what are you guys doing? I yeah, think yeah, we yeah. should um, take a couple of apples and give them to Jarofskin yeah. um, and His the assist- waitress. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because he wasn't feeling very good. Okay, so you take you take two pieces of fruit with you, you go back to the scaly inn. And well, uh, wait, what, what's closer from here, the Athenians or the scaly inn? What about Istagella? Oh yeah, you? we need... Okay, let's take... Um, so we'll five see, we'll apples. What um, NPCs are worth saving? Let's let's make all this. <laughs> we'll stop. I'll go to the Athenians and drop off the pouch. One of you go to Estegella and two <laughs> go back to the inn, and we'll meet up at the inn. Yeah, sounds like a plan. All right, cool. I will rush over to the Athenians to hand them their pouch back. Okay. So as you rush over, you know there's the, the like they literally creak open the door, like put a pole out, and they're like, "Yep." Yeah, Cool. I'm just like literally. Go. You just hear thank you as the door shuts. And you just hear lock, lock, lock. Yep. Big lock. <laughs> um, and yep, yeah, that's that's Big lock what... and iron bar. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, they they're very much making sure that they are like you know, they're safe. They've not been infected. They don't want to be. Yeah, I mean, you don't want the curse of Banashaw. Exactly. So um. 
Okay, who's going? Off. Who's going to? Uh... I mean, it's the plowed seas is on the way to the inn because it was it was like outside it, right, where all the market stalls and stuff were. No, no, no. Close. So basically, if you go from if you're, it's hard to do without actually having a map of the city, which I am working on. Uh. But basically, you can use your imagination, and mm -hmm. effectively, the lower end is where you kind of have the market and everything. It's near the entrances and stuff like that. If you imagine it was like a three three sort of tier, like, you know, I don't know, like Minas Tirith or some shit, right? Like, give just three levels, but more in the bracket of wealth and things. The Scaly Inn is uh, in the mi middle region. It's not a high upstanding um, bar, you know, by any means. But it's clean enough, it serves good enough food and what have you, that it's still seen as a relatively reputable, you know, establishment. And that's also where Istagelis is. But however, they are on separate sides of the city. Oh. Because you kind of have the, like, beer and inns and that sort of side where people live and what have you. And then you have the sort of shops and wares and blacksmiths and that sort of stuff which is the other side because obviously you don't want to be living next to a blacksmith if you can help it yeah so what are you guys doing who's going to istagella if you're splitting the group um okay i'm right. only at level one exhaustion okay so i make my way to the plowed in and Knock really loudly on the door with both hands. Okay, so I'm closed. I've got a remedy for you. A what, love? A remedy? Are you feeling okay? Everyone seems to be ill. A remedy? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> And you, you hear some shuffling, you hear like a couple of things, and then you hear this like big catch, and the shutters open, it goes, Oh, hello, you, you from yesterday, yep. opens the door, it's like, you got a remedy? Yeah, so everyone's been ill, and um, we found out that fresh fruit picked from today and rest will make you feel a lot better. Oh, that's good so to know! here's one for you. Oh, bless you. Thank you, dear. And she takes the apple, like, shines it, and then takes a big munch. She's like, no! Anything else I can help you with? Um, that's it for now. We're just seeing as you're one of our favourite people in town, we thought we'd help, oh, help you Oh, darling! Oh. I'm sure we'll be back very soon to check in on you. Oh, well, all the best! And, and she like kind of like waves you goodbye, like really cheery and happy and everything. Oh. Give me a perception oh, hi, check. Sigella. Give me a perception check. Okay. Uh, uh, don't need to do it with um, disadvantage. Uh, if you're still, uh, it's an ability I'm on check, level so one. one. Yeah, you're right. Is that a yeah? Or a yeah, name? it is. Yeah, it is. Control and roll. So oh, enough. Sure. You hear like the lock, and then what you then realise you're hearing is a stool being put up to the door, so she can reach the taller lock near the top Aww. of the door. <laughs> oh. You just hear her kind of muttering happily away as she walks back, and you know goes back to whatever she was doing. It's really cute. Okay, I happily skip back to the inn. Oh, good day. my dose of Vistagella. <laughs> so, you will kind of reconverge back at the Scaly Inn. You just hear. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, guys! Oh! Hello. Hi! Don't sound too good. Oh, fucking shit, mate! I have a needle. Not kidding you. Not pretty. Oh. <laughs> well, take these and I'll just put the, some apples in front of him. I doubt he'll be pleased at that. <laughs> what am I doing with these? 
Well, it looks so as though this whole fort has been overrun with what's known as the Curse of Buckershaw. So... Right, uh, whatever the fuck that is, yeah. Take those apples, give mm. some to your, uh, to your kitchen maid, and just get some good rest and you'll be feeling right as rain. That it? Seriously? Yeah, tell me about it. Yep. Alright. And he just, like, takes one of the apples. He's like, Oi! You! Eat this! <laughs> just forcefully throws it at her head. Chucks yeah. it at her head. Yeah. Just, like, literally just lobs a pear, like, in her general direction. She's like, So! <laughs> So then, you were busy? Apparently. Yeah. yeah. Why have you got more jobs? <laughs> Always got work if you want it. Uh, we'll, we'll see after uh, tonight. I think we've had quite the eventful day. Alright, well. Thanks for this. Uh, I mean, I've got no other guests. If you want to take the room, don't worry about it. That'd Thank be you. Nice. Thank you. Very kind of you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, you should really rest up. You're yeah. not looking too good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll rest up. Yeah, sure, waves. Go. Okay. Um. So, you guys, unless you're doing anything else, you guys go to your so, rooms. Out oh. of Jurovskin's earshot. How how long left have we got here? How do you how mean? Many nights? How many nights more do we have at the inn? He he's given you... So, yeah, he's given you one for free, which is you've already used. And then for this one, because he's like, well, there's no one else about. So, like, sure, it doesn't... It's no real skin off his nose. Before we leave him, can I, I just want to ask... Um, if you're probably returning on any night, can I use your kitchen? What do you want to use it for? Oh, I bought a fish. What kind of fish? Close off. Oh, fucking normal thing. Alright, I mean... Sure! Tessa! Get in the kitchen! Got customers coming in! You just see this, like, half-elven girl kind of, like, just quickly skip out, like, runs into the, the cellar to do something else. Cool. And then at some point I will just head into the back and make something with my fish and whatever they've got around. Preferably a fish pie, but I mean, I don't want to use too much of their stuff. Give me an investigation check. Oh, great of those. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> You're really not able to find much. Like, you, what, what was starting out as like a really nice fish, fish. sandwich. Yeah, you, you, you're ending. You're ending up with a fish stew. You're like, oh, I could add some of this, and then nope, there's none of that. Okay, right, well, well, or that. Okay. Yeah. I'm just gonna grill them and put them in between some bread. Also, give me a nature check. Oh, you know what? I'm as good as nature as I am investigating. <laughs> okay. Are, are you serving okay. this to the uh, to the first, as they said? But like, um, he he doesn't know much, but he was told specifically to boil it and prepare it the way he did. Yep, 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 yep. Oh God. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Detect poison. Twenty seconds. <laughs> <laughs> so no, it's it's absolutely fine. Um. <laughs> I was just fucking with you on that one. Um, yeah. Like, yeah, you're able to... <laughs> it's the beauty of being the DM. You can just I fuck with people. you killed us off for that after this entire session. Yeah, <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> you will take 1d12. Oh, shit. Um, right, okay. So, uh, take it you produce this stewy broth, and is it to share, or...? Yeah, everyone can have a piece. It's okay. a big fish. Yep, it is a very big fish. So, yeah. I will serve a reasonable portion to everyone and whatever's oh, everything. Uh, Kras, can Chris. you describe what you've actually made? Yeah, it's literally grilled fish in between some bread. Oh, crap. I couldn't find anything else. I'm gonna 
Grumpy. Frankie would hesitantly slide the bread off the fish and then try and nibble on any bits of bread that haven't been sopped off in like fish wetness. <laughs> hey, he's getting better. So, actually, Peter, if you were to look at one of your cantrips, you could really help this out. Wait, 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 is it wait, wait. make food eatable cantrip? Um... Basically is. is it... <laughs> <laughs> what, do you want me to cast guidance on him? No. Cast tasty spell. Oh, you don't have prestidization. I thought you had it. So you don't. Uh, bards can have it as well, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, sure didn't take it though. Yep. <laughs> Nah, enjoy your fish. <laughs> Thank you. Can I do? Can I do some kind of check to determine how goodly fish this fish is? How goodly fish? The, 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 the fish. fish. The fish yeah, is genuinely. Well. The fish is genuinely a good cut of fish. Like, okay. um, it's together it's hasn't screwed you on that. Um, okay. you would just know that from being a fish, you know, being out of the seas and stuff. Um, yeah. yeah, you got a decent on it this is a decent fish you know you've cooked it as well as you can with what you had so all right it tastes like shit yeah <laughs> it's like overcooked it's crispy but you know he's working on it it'll do the trick for today it's been yeah. a long day they'll eat anything <laughs> <laughs> yeah Lissandra whispers sorry friend she takes a bite <laughs> Kras munches happily and thinks it You want to get really better good. at cooking, don't you, Kras? That's part of your thing. So, yeah, it's, add it as a special skill, and at the moment, okay. have it as minus one. Okay. Agreed. Okay, and then what we can do is, is the, like, the more effort you put in, we can... Uh... Oh, it's like a special performance check, basically. Yeah. yeah basically, okay. but you can actually, on D&D &D Beyond, you can actually have custom skills. Yeah. So... That's awesome. Here we go. Cooking. Mate, uh, override negative one. Cool. There we go. That? Okay, so with your belly's full ish, you know, not sure how much of it might, you know, like you might have to go and have something else, you know, order one, yeah, do that one. classic, you know, Mackie D's uh, instead of the <laughs> mother in law's cooking. Um, you guys manage to settle down for a good evening, unless you want to do anything else? I, I think okay. Oh, good. So, so it's been a hard day. Everyone settles down for um, a long, hard night. Mm -hmm. You guys can mark off a long rest and you can, excuse me, you can remove any um, exhaustion that remains. So when you click long rest, you actually have to tick recover one level. Oh. Yeah. There we go. Neat. Okay, and that is where we will leave tonight's session. Um, we'll pick up with this next week. Uh, thank you to anyone. Yeah, <laughs> thank you to anyone who has been watching, and we'll see you again next week.